have you been? I'm searching all along. Came facing twilight on and on. Without a clue. Without a sign. Without grasping yet. The real question to be asked. Where have I been? I'm a shapeshifter. At post masquerade. for you to draw I'm a shapeshifter What else should I be? Please don't take off my mask Revealing dark to be found a mirror right in front of me that's where I find an empty glass reflecting the sad truth it's telling words not to be told I need the mask I'm a shapeshifter at post masquerade hiding both face and mind Free for you to draw. I'm a shapeshifter, chained down to my core. Please don't take off my mask, my place to hide. I can't tell you how to see me. Just a cage of bones, there's nothing inside. For you to draw, I'm a shapeshifter. Have no face to show. Please don't take off my mask, my disguise.
Howdy ho, folks. This is uh, not actually the most appropriate sleepy Pope Turtle time music uh, I could have found, but hey, here we are. I probably should have tried a little harder on that on that front, but oh well. Anyway, how do you do, folks? How you keeping this evening? Need a little turtle lullaby? Let's see if Spotify has. <laughs> we found something <laughs> appropriate. It's not turtle, but it is a turtle duck, which, by the way, uh, is the cutest, cutest fucking thing. <laughs> Turtle looks are the cutest fucking thing, man. From they're from Avatar. I think they're in the Last Airbender. I think they show up in Korra as well, and not in the movie, which just tells you that the movie is infinitely in inferior and doesn't exist as a result. But hey, how you doing, folks? Good to see you, Scappy. How you doing, man? And Vex. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, I've just been. I just wanted to play some Elden Ring, so so we're here, and I, I found a little bunch of stuff, and I wrote down. I wrote down a big old. Big old, big old list. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be chill today, probably. I mean, that's basically every stream, I think. But I have a big old list of shit I need to do. So <laughs> here we, here we go. I guess. Hey, Gore. I'm simping good. Uh, and a clone as well. How you doing, man? Um. I want to check. I want to check one more thing. Hang on. This is highly important. We getting scammed out of meme watching? You are indeed getting scammed out of meme watching. I know, I was talking about it with Carly and I was like, maybe just maybe maybe Saturday, Sunday. Carly Carlina's actually gone to France soon, so I was kinda hoping we'd get turtle snoring there. Um but alas. Also, also, I was testing this out, if you've not seen this trick. Paused. See everything stop moving? You can pause the- you can pause Elden Ring. See if I can find something more obviously- yeah, look at that tree. Look at the tip of that tree. Stopped. Completely stopped. Not moving. There's your pause button if you ever need it. Legitimately a useful thing to have at times. Let's, uh, let's talk to Turtle Pope. I was playing a little bit this morning, and I went around and I marked down a bunch of stuff. So we have to go to Einzel River Well. We have the Frenzy Flaming Tower I want to check out. Um, this place, the Grand Lift of Dectus, I think that's what we need the other half of the medallion that we get from Rey Lucaria. But I've kind of made up my mind. I think I'm happy to... I think I'm going to give the thingy to uh, Thops. I'm going to give the thingy to Thops, and then he's going to di probably die uh, <laughs> somewhere along the line. We need to in ex investigate this area, roads and catacombs. I don't think we did any of this. Got to go underneath here. Um, what else have I got to do? I made a whole... whole oh, hand manner. Jazz hands manner. We need to go do... We're definitely doing jazz hands manner. Uh, I would definitely like to do jazz hands manner. Um, what else... Change. Oh, yeah, and the church over here with the lady. Whatever's happening on this. I kind of want to check that out because I feel like I feel like if I do this, this is like an earlier thing. So I think it's worth doing it early. Or it's, it's not an earlier thing. It's sorry. It's a thing I'm not supposed to do early. Therefore, maybe by doing it early, I'll get something different. So I want to do it. That's my excuse. and I'm sticking to it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Pope Turtle. Hello. You're tarnished, aren't you? Oh, look at him! I welcome you to the Church of Vows. Hello! Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Oh, it's you okay. Know the origin of this place. How it came to be known as the Church of Vows. Well, I haven't a clue. A shame, but who can I wonder if there's a way to know. 
The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radigan and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses, the Erd Tree of the capital and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Okay. Oh, that's something I've kind of, I've started to pick up on, is that there's overall, there's basically like two warring factions and it seems to be the moon people and the tree people. Oh, was there something you and then there's a bunch of other factions. There's like the frame flensied folk around. and a bunch of others, but those are like the main two. My legs aren't what they oh. used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless perhaps you are in search of instruction, in which case I will share all that I know. Study sorcery, study incantations. Ooh. Hello. Different trees. I don't know, I like moons. I really like moons. Grants a blessing to self and nearby allies. Blessings one fell like tears from the Erd tree. This incantation is not but a lingering remnant of that power. At knights, our spells, of course, you can strengthen their knights, loyalty sworn to the moon. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband oh? to the Carian Queen. Hope Turtle indeed, Our look at him. When Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Earth Tree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of Second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. Hey. So we got a we got a Lord Dump Turtle then. Eat. Okay. So Lady Okay. <sighs> I swear to God, the characters all having fucking like Legitimately, the characters all have like three, four letters between them because it's a lot of them are named with the initials of George R. R. Martin. So we have Michaela, Manuela, Godric, Godfrey, Renala, Radagon, Radhan. <laughs> oh, and this one's Muriel, of course, as well. Just to add to this, Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, Plague, how you doing? And I always knew I was a secret moon guide. I do, have lo I do like my moons. No, li no lie. I can't. I can't say. I can't say much of a much of a lie there. Uh, did I say hello, Echo? Hello, Echo. How you doing, dude? And hello, Plague as well. How you doing? Uh. You know, it's said that Lord Radigan harbored a secret. Radigan. A famed sculptor of the Erd Tree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it's said the great statue harbors his secret hmm. too. You wish to know more of Lady Renala. She is queen, head of the Carian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her, and then, when the Academy rebelled against the Royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. Ah. Huh. Renala. Okay. That's it. I was, I learned that recently that the, the, the Carrion, the Manor, and the Academy are at war. You know, it's said that Lord Radic, a famed sculptor of the Erd Tree, when he lived, and as such, in the end, Lady Renala was left alone. 
Cradling the amber egg Lord Radican bequeathed her. Now she devotes herself to it through forbidden rite, the grim art of reincarnation. You would do well to remember, severing a vow, strongest of bonds, has consequences ever more dire. You know, it's said a famed when he glimpsed, and as such. Hey. Is there something else? gonna buy all his shit. Ah shit, that's ten thousand? Motherfucker. You know it's a famed sculptor when he glimpsed and as such. That's okay. Uh, main carrier. Nice chill afternoon, not having to do anything else? No worries, Dragoon, it's my pleasure. <laughs> Wait! Did he say she was locked in the Great Library? I wonder, is that the Carrion Study Hall? But yeah, the, the Academy here and the Manor up here are kind of at war, I guess. And I think, I think when they say the lands between, I think they literally mean Limgrave is the land between. I'm not sure, to be honest. Or maybe this whole place that's not the capital is the lands between. The question is then between what? Manor? I haven't done the manor. I, I walked around a little bit inside it. We've seen, we seen some good hands, uh, but I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start that today. I think. I think I want to do. I'm trying to think of an order. I think I want to do the manor. Then I want to go and talk to the lady down in the church over here. Or no, no manor, and then I want to do this area here. This bit I haven't really looked at over here. Um. Yeah. How's everyone's Friday going, by the by? I, today, uh, played some Elden Ring. Ate some food. That's it. That's it. That's my whole day. That's, uh, I've, that's, that's everything I've done. The entire world of Lands Between? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think, I think the Lands Between is... Maybe, okay, maybe this whole map, but not, like, the whole world world. I had, I had, uh, a kebab. I had a kebab. I had a doner kebab for dinner. Uh, so, you know, don't, don't at, don't at me. Uh, don't, don't, you know? I'm still dark again. It's because we got uh, nuclear bombs going off outside constantly. Um. Is there something else? So, breaking Renala's vow bad. Tone? You don't need absolution. Ooh, is this for invading? If I invade folks? My toast, best toast. Uh, I don't think I have any bright toast lying around, though. Ooh, come on. Okay. Donut kebab. Donut kebabs are excellent. I think it's, honestly, though, I, I will say, I think it's more the, like, the sauce, the chili and the garlic sauce in the kebab that really sells it. But Donner itself is, is is still pretty good. Like it, it's spicy, it's spiced meat. Like you, you can't go too too far wrong with that, really at all. Um, and you got boosted, and you're fighting the fatigue and sweat. I hope it goes bad. It goes good for you, Flake. I. Ooh. Yeah, I've I've thankfully got away with all mine. Okay. But uh, it can be a bitch. Drink lots of water. Rest the fuck up and eat some eat some good food. That's uh That's that's the plan for everyone everyone related to anything with anything COVID related. <laughs> oh, I also found these boys, the four belfries, and there's like basically there's like three teleporters up here, but they all need imbued stone sword keys. And I think I have two stone sword keys, so I can activate two of these. One of them I got from here itself. Uh, but I will check that out. Again, that's after I go down here. So, and after the manor as well. I also upgraded uh, a few weapons. I got this weapon, which is already upgraded. Then I upgraded this dragon halberd, because I thought it was cool. This vike war spear, because I thought it was cool. Um, oh, I never upgraded. I probably should have upgraded the twin blade. Uh, I upgraded Nox Flowing Sword because I want to try that out for a little bit more. 
and oh yeah 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 uh, St. Trina's and the regalia of Ikid Ikid we still have the clean rot stuff oh oh uh ooh. do I have a shitty dungeon we can do we can do <laughs> Um, I did actually come across a couple of small... Yes, there is Rhodes End Catacombs I haven't been through. And Black Knife Catacombs. I still have to do both of those. Anna, there's a puzzle here I don't get yet. I kind of want to... Actually, let's check out this Frenzy Flaming Tower because I want to figure out what the deal with it is. I've seen that there's dudes on top of the tower. And I... and the, uh, You'll see, okay? You, you, if you haven't. Mix sauce. Donna kebab with chili. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, chili, like, like, chili sauce and garlic sauce together, man. That's the shit. So here we have Sauron. Uh, he's just kind of chilling out. Um, this works like the, the Mensis, the, the, the brain in Mensis. Um. But... Basically, ah, uh, Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Never have any spicy. More spice. Always more spice. Honestly, the chili sauce I get on mine isn't that spicy, but I would eat, I would happily get more spicy sauce on and, and basically anything. Have you got frenzy burst? I did just there. Um. I think I got frenzied. The first time I encountered a frenzy rat, I went for frenzy bursting. Look at that. Look at that. I got this. So I got this from, you know, the guy from who's, who's Edgar, Edgar and his daughter Arena. Uh, Edgar invaded me when I found the little shack and I killed him. And now I got this uh, halberd, which is pretty decent. And it has that move, which is pretty cool. Uh, apparently it blocks projectiles and shit, which is pretty interesting. Have I gotten... Oh, the spell. I might have picked it up. If it was in that chest, then yes. I got this far before I got scared. There it is. <laughs> Emits concentrated blast of yellow frame frenzy from the eyes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in times past, every single person who attempted to control the flame of frenzy succumbed to madness. As after a desperate internal struggle. The inca this incantation is testament to a meager victory. Has to penetrate the enemy's guard. Ooh. And the hell of Shibiri as well. Uh, I got a few Shibiri items. They said that the sickness of flame frenzy began with Shibiri. The most reviled man in all of history. That's an interesting... That's an interesting tidbit because... He... You get a Shibiri talisman and... The Shibiri Talisman. This one here. <laughs> Constantly attracts enemy aggression. Disturbing likeness of a man whose eyes have been gouged out. Corners of his mouth are upturned in an almost flirtatious manner. It is said that the man named Shibiri had his eyes gouged out as punishment for the crime of slander. And with time, the blight of the flame of frenzy came to dwell in the, in the empty sockets. Also, we're still St. Podge. I was to, because the Eye of Sauron, we're, di we're directly beneath the Eye of Sauron at the moment. See? Did I stop it? Did I kill a god? I feel like I might have just killed a god. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's that was surprisingly anticlimactic. Honestly, it was just six dudes looking up. <laughs> I'll take it though. <laughs> I guess. Were they praising? They were channeling the the fl the fr flame of frenzy, which is the thing that was that big fire that was in the air. That's what they were doing, and I don't. I guess. The flame, the, f the frenzy flame seems to be like one of the deity kind of things here. Born of Shibiri. Uh, but whenever you see enemies with yellow glows in their eyes and they inflict madness on you, 
that's them. And it seems to be the whatever about the flame causes people to go crazy. And yeah, so I guess it's it's like the shit first flame, basically. So it's so the frenzied flame is one of the like main players. Then there's the carrions, the erd tree and the hagatree. Hagat hagat I think the hagatree tree is actually the erd tree. But it's like the name for the specifically that wait specifically that one is called the Hagatree, Hagatree, uh, and the capital of the demigods. I'm guessing. Uh, I'm honestly yeah, I'm not 100 sure. Then there's land between. There's dragons. There's the scarlet rot. There's the death roots as well. The death roots and those who. Those who, uh, something with death. I can't remember exactly what that was called. Which, oh, that's a dungeon, actually. Um, but we're, right now we're doing the Carrion Royal Manor because that's what's in front of us. But that's got the hands that only, the, the hands I crave. The rumblies in my tummy in which only hands can satisfy. Carrion Manor. Let's see how we do here. Come on. Oh, fuck. Go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, I knew I knew those hands were there. I knew I did know those hands were there and that they were about to drop on me. I was just overconfident in that I could kill them. I've already walked a little bit around. Hey, Nibirius, how you doing, man? Have you come to see hands? The finest hands in all the lands? <laughs> Why did you have to arrive for the hand stream? You, you know you wanted it. A lot of fingering. Although, I don't know if with this many fingers you'd call it a fingering or a, like, giga fisting. I feel like one of these fingers is more than a fit, more than a, fing, a fisting. Why does a game have the finger fetish? It's thematic, I'm gonna say. I have no idea. It's the same way, the same reason, um, uh, Dark Souls has a, uh, uh, a hollowed fetish, a, a corpse, a, a, a hollow corpse fetish. Mother flipper. Huh? That's the word I censored. Like the censoring is not like, doesn't follow any rhyme or reason, okay? I just censor random, random words every now and then. Ooh. Dark Souls a fire fetish, that's it. And Bloodborne has a blood fetish. And a moon fetish. And Sekiro has a worm fetish, a centipede fetish. Um, but like, yeah, every game has its like core thing. Does the hands even respawn? Yes, those hands respawn. Now, these are like the basic enemy of this area. <laughs> Catacombs to meet you when you're ready. Will do. But yeah, it's all it's all hands. How many bits does it make to take to make me go to another area? Uh, th there's no price. There's no price you can pay in Averius. This is the hand screen where we we do the hands. Honestly, a little disappointed at the damage on this. Oh, oh, and look at hand. I'm waiting for this hand, this this to turn out to be a trap. Oh, hello. How do I unsay something is never said? There you go. Shh, shh, shh. You can't actually ban yourself, Nibirius. Fun fact. You can try, but you can't. Because you're a mod, you can't be banned. Unless, unless I ban you. Oh, look, they're having a... Oh, fuck me. Sorry, they were having a little feel. I thought we'd stop and appreciate the, fe the, the feeling. Jeez. 
Jesus fucking Christ, these things are insatiable. I need a, I think I need a shield to deal with these guys. Sounds are basically oh they're 100 percent spider hands like they they 100 percent reference spiders for these animations like it's so it's and it's so well done as well let's see if we can find some of them that are just hanging about no you're not just hanging about I kind of, I kind of love this area. At the same time, I also absolutely fucking hate this. But it's pretty great, though. Like, this is, in, it's inspiring. Let's go with that. Gotta add this to my list of things I should VTube, but will probably never VTube. Paddy and Persha. Sure, I'll take it. Grab another somber smithing stone. These are full of somber smithing stones too, which is pretty neat. Oh, I also I want to try out some other. I want to try out some other. They're literally called spider hands. Oh my god. Now here we see the very classic uh, sneaky hand. Um, don't try this move in real life. You you will you will get uh, what's the word. You will get a restraining order. Fuck me. Feel about. Much. Okay. Fuck. Damn it. Cornered. Handed him that one. Try, I want to try out this for a little bit. I was trying out this this a little earlier, and it seemed like a pretty solid weapon. Now for the best part, the bit where all of them respawn. <laughs> oh fuck me! Uh, <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, oh, okay. I want to I kind of want to let's take a moment to appreciate really dig in and, and, and enjoy the animation. It's not just an it's not actually a lightning just a lightning halberd. It's a lightning ice halberd. The sunbreak. Oh fuck me. Really? I didn't are they even up on Amazon yet? I need to check. I need to check. Oh fuck me. God damn it. I think one of the notes talks about these and they have a weakness that gives a unique animation. I'll have to find the note. A connection error occurred. Huzzah! <laughs> truly, truly what I always want. <laughs> I'm playing on PC. I still want, I still want the Malzino. Uh, I still want the Malzino amiibo because it, it looks really cool. <laughs> that, that's that's my that's my whole uh, that's my whole uh, inspiration. Look at that! Look at those hands go! Look at them having a little bit of a, having a nice caress, really touching. Oh, it, this is this is where this is where it comes from. This is the the origin. This is the. 
Is it? There we go. Yeah. They're doing it. They're touching grass. We found the meme. Look at him go. It's good grass though. Can't I can't say I I can legitimately I can't say in my life I haven't done a, something similar. are fucking ugh. they're really like as an enemy they're actually really fucking annoying to fight they seem to just um they seem to just like lunge at you constantly and without any fucking break it's a real pain in the face hole ow it's fine So look at that, look at that meaty, meaty stub as well at the back. Like these were no or these were someone's hand at some point. I wonder, were they grafted? Were these uh, part of the, whatever caused the grafted to be? I'm learning that attack, but it's still really fucking hard for me to dodge. <laughs> Getting a Sunbreak Amiibo until they get restocked. Is it is it the special edition or just the Amiibo that's out of stock? So there's some grass vibes, striking and surrounding grass. I can only recommend. It's pretty fun. I I have done it both sober and drunk, and it's it's pretty great in both instances. Yeah. So how does this work? Like. Does this automatically always apply frost, or it doesn't look like it does? Shit. Inning slash. In Reach with both ice and lightning, but on this page it doesn't actually have any lightning damage, nor does it have any passive effects. So I'm like, you sure? You sure about that? Nintendo store yet. Interesting. To remind me to keep an eye out for that. Because I do really, I really would like a Mal I really do like that Malzito. A wonder and a wonder. Uh huh. A lot of I can see a lot of traps around, <laughs> but I don't see. I'll show you. Ooh, uh, that's not a bad. Yeah. Yeah, I think the second hit applies frost applies the frost and the first hit applies the lightning. There's plus 130 lightning. Select so doesn't say anything about frost though. But it's it, like it is clearly applying frost there when you hit. Not that clearly. Picking cream cheese or pesto and tomatoes. Sounds decent. 
has you have my blessing. May your, may your sandwich be good, I guess. Apparently I'm in charge of this now. Fuck. Tell me. Fuck! <laughs> oh, I can handle the small ones. I don't really want to handle the big ones, especially when I'm completely fucking empty on flasks at the moment. saying something about a special death animation? Let's see if we can find that. Oh! <laughs> they have a little rolling on fire animation. That's adorable and terrifying. But mostly adorable. Ah, get back. What other... We can poison them as well, I guess? Hello? Let me guess. The message is gonna say... Look out, there's some fucking... Oh, no fingers ahead. Oh, never mind. Look out, there's some fucking hands. Oh. Lady Rani. We have long awaited you. I pray for your house's swift revival. May the full moon shine upon Caria. Rani. I wonder, is Rani Renala? Radagan? Rani Renala? Radagan? Maybe Rani's someone else? Maybe Rani's what came out of the egg? I'm just throwing shit out here. Ooh, okay. Right, back to killing some hands. I wanna go back downstairs and just explore that little nook we didn't quite get through. Also, very important, just highly... Okay, there we go. And, hello. Smitten stone. Um, sorry, excuse me. Just God, it's so satisfying. Is there has anyone just made a video game that's just the rolling mechanic from Dark Souls for destroying stuff? I feel like that's a that's a that's a an idea a, a game selling idea in and of itself. I want to try let's let's try poison one of these. Um. Swear to God, it's poison runs out before it dies. Nah, that's the same death animation. What else? What other ways can we kill something? Fire, lightning. Oh, ice is a way, I guess. Flipper. All of those are definitely the same animation. Done didn't expect betrayal? What? Of course. <laughs> okay. Don't know why that was so hilarious to me, but okay. Uh, yeah, no, uh, we're... We have this explored? Yes. Upstairs we go. I wonder, do we no longer have hands to deal with? Are we now hands free? Can I come up with another hand pun? I can't. It's, that's... 
Hands down, the truth. Not good. Wait. Not quite good. Oh, God. Oh, it's gonna climb up. Hi. <laughs> it's not climbing up. Okay. Get to figure out what the deal is with these summoned fucking dudes. I guess they're just summoned ashes, I guess. Same as I can do. It's going to be pretty handy. Uh, what's that sign? Hello. Hello. Wait. That looks like an intentional jump. Hello, Lunark. Did, you, did, he, did he spawn in mid, mid aerial? Attack? Excuse me? No, okay. Oh, I'm being summoned. Man, this place is fucking chocked full of invaders, is it? We'll deal with that when we get back. Come on! God dang it. I suppose the connection error can be when they die, I imagine. I hope it's not a not a theme for today's protection racket. Uh, I want to see. I want to see what the crack is down here. I swear, if there's nothing. Oh. Ooh. Hello. Nothing ahead. What? Where is this? I don't remember going through this. Oh, maybe you can come down from somewhere else. Let's not jump. There seem to be a handful of them. Oh. Hello? That's a lot of signs. <laughs> Oh, we're here. Okay. What is? Sword of Night and Flame. That looked vaguely legendary to me. And it sounds it too. Standard and Pierce. One of the legendary armaments. Let's fucking go. Storied sword and treasure of Caria Manor. Astrologers who preceded the sorcerers established themselves in mountaintops that nearly touched the sky and considered the fire giants their neighbors. Knight and flame stance. Hold a sword level and prepare to cast a sorcery. Follow up with a normal attack to cast the knight comet sorcery or a strong attack to sweep forward with a burst of flames. Uh, what do I need to use this? Is this, oh, is this the, is this in faith? It's the in faith one. Oh, we so have to use this. Okay, that's too cool. That's too cool not to use. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. I have important business. I swear. <sighs> Come on. Nope. Good. We're good. What was that sound?
Is that my third legendary armament? Yes, I think so. I have two great swords and that now. I, I, I definitely want to use that sword. That's 100%. Okay, hi. More friends? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, ah, fucking knew it. I could hear him. It's actually... hang on. Doing... We're a power stancing boy now. Sword's a little trap. Okay. Maybe, oh, maybe I should do sword and shield for a little bit, actually. You know when you're just impatient and you're just like, nah, fuck it, I'm just gonna spam attack and they'll die. They'll, they'll, I'm sure they'll, they'll definitely die, right? And that happens. <laughs> I really like that attack. It's not great. It's honestly not very good, but I really like it. <laughs> it's, it's cool. Uh oh. I'll give, I'll give those, I'll give those some appraisals. First off, left, then try right, which is exactly what I did. He's doing that in the wrong order. Please go. Be kind. Don't forget to throw out some, throw out your applause. Give everyone a little bit of love. This is where, I think this is the elevator we fought fought a dude on when we were helping an invade and helping defend the other day. Yeah, in fact, it was right here. I was super confused about how to even get where I needed to go. So that means there's a wolf. There's a couple wolves outside as well, because we've actually seen just beyond this bit. Hello. Is it always? It almost looked like a jumping puzzle there, and I was not going to be happy with that because I don't want to do it and jump. I don't want any jumping puzzles in this game, really. <laughs> Uh, 
Let's see. If this sword... If this sword did bleed or something, that attack would be amazing. Uh, but it doesn't, so... And I don't think I can make it do bleed. No, maybe I can apply a grease to it. Although I don't think I... I don't think I'd be able to. What the fuck are these wolves made out of? They're stronger than literally anything else in this castle so far. <laughs> oh gods. Isn't that what we need? 24. Okay. Um, in fate 24. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. It's a shame I can't. Uh, if it was like a strength or some other requirement, we'd be able to use it now, but. No. Fuck. It's gonna be. There it is. I knew there was gonna be a wolf around here somewhere. Can I? Try and sleep the wolves. Maybe. I'm I'm very disappointed whenever we get those little item pickups and they're just like just one of the crafting materials and I'm just like, eh. I've barely used any of the crafting in this game. Which honestly is something I should probably rectify. I should look into Beast Lure Pot? What even is? Lures beasts only? Oh, so you can pull dudes up apart and feed using feeling flasks. Uh, this one, these ones need ritual pots. These are the crack pots. I've never found so a use for perfumers pots. I've gotten some perfumers pots, but I've yet to ever find a use for them. There's the enemy with the cursed blood. Hey, fuck it. Let's see what happens. I hope that didn't take anything too <laughs> useful. To inflict heavy fire damage. Holy damage. Those would actually be quite handy for the skeletons and stuff you find around the gaff. Sleep, spawn vengeful spirits. Sure, we'll give. Let's give everything a bit of a lash. How about that? Veals more messages from other worlds. Oh, okay. Um, I've never used one of these, actually. I'm curious. What happens... What happens? Yeah, what happens when you use it? That's almost pointing... So yeah, it points to the nearest waypoint. Okay. Sure. Uh, I guess that's a... Man. So that's just straight up a, like a waypoint you can use at any time. <laughs> if you really want... If you really want to use waypoints in this game. There they are. <laughs> uh, sure. Why not? I'm not going to use them, but hey, they're there for you. Special dragon track and flicking blood loss. This is one I want to try. Hang on. I try... can't apply it. That kind of sucks. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to be able to use it a little more than that. Should I give you and Sixth updated on those amiibos? Grand? I'm, I appreciate, I appreciate that. That's excellent for me. Um, just one sec, one second. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, it's not on Amazon. Nintendo. Was it Nintendo EU? I think it was the European store of Nintendo that sells the Amiibos. But you don't want to go. I can't go to the .co UK one. I have to go to the German one. <laughs> and then translate it to actually be able to see and buy stuff. Wait, that's the eShop. I don't want the eShop. Um, it's very, this is highly important. Let me check. Uh, Dolan, Beckleitung, Post and Multimedia. Do you list, where do you list your amiibos? like little plushes and little silver statues and clothing huh where do you, where's the where's the where's the, where's the, where's the, where's the amiibos um the store links to the info page not the store page wait <laughs> so wait which one do you want to click on then why? Oh, okay. Wait, no, I might have it. I might have it. Uh, no, I don't have it. Motherfucker. <laughs> Why is this store like this? No, okay. You can have a link to it. <laughs> I don't have Chrome open at the moment, so I can't just easily translate it like I want to. Vinvidget, thank you very much. Oh, wow, okay. This is highly important shit here. Don't, don't, don't you, don't, no, no, nobody worry about it. It's all good. This is definitely worth cancelling the whole stream for. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, it just, it currently doesn't link to shit. Okay, that's per that's fine, that's okay. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> I I have a feeling that's from someone who did exactly what I just did. <laughs> I'm on the wrong page. There we go. Beautiful. I have a feeling the dual sword strat is not going to work great. At least we keep coming up against those wolves. Uh, I want to try... There we go. I want to try and go up here. See what we can find. Hello. Or maybe. You know what I want to do, actually? Let's, let's do this. Shield. What's your special? Barricade? Sir Nightheart. No, we want a no skill shield. So we can use our actual special attack. Look at us. A basic shield, bro. Wild, isn't it? Hello. Are you. You know, Iggy? I'm friends with Iggy. 
<laughs> oh, Burger King is... Oh, hi. Um, you're not friends with Iggy then. Okay. Shit. Uh, I need to take out the other dudes before I can engage the big one. Oh, never mind. That'll do. <laughs> oh, yes. I knew there was going to be something. It felt like there was... It was missing something here. Had to be something a little extra. Anything down here extra? No, okay. Yeah? I've got a shield, I'm okay. That, surprisingly, that was okay. That was very little damage. Or very little stamina damage, I say. this game. Nope. You were played better. You played it better. Swords, small swords aren't great. I don't like small swords. I kind of want to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna use the sword of Saint Trina for a little bit. I really wish this sword, because it's such a cool skill. I really wish this sword did more. But we'll Trina it up, I guess, for now. Tell me, are you cool if I just, you know? Yeah. Okay. We cool. We're cool. It's a daisy. Want to see if we can sleep the troll. You, sir, are a shitty Robin Hood. Oh, he's asleep. Gotcha. Let's get him a wee wakey. Look at him go. Oh, he's down. <laughs> okay. Well, that gives me time. Damn. How long is he out for? Is he just... That seems pretty good. If it can keep them down for that long. God, what? Yeah. Here we go. Troll Knight Sword. Hello. That's a big version of. I got a royal Akarian knight sword, so this is a troll knight sword. Great sword embedded with blue glinstone. When the trolls in service royal family called into service when the queen invoked an oath they swore. The trolls are treated as true knights of Caria and fight arm in arm with their human comrades. 
look into the distance and let out an intense roar, generating powerful shockwaves that blow back surrounding foes. Follow up with a strong attack to slam the armament down. Aye, okay. That's the sheath attack that the, the boys use. Five more class to go. Level 90, lowest is 81. Two are DPS. Six one is gonna have the combat beast drive, so I might just leave him via that. Leave him by that. I'd say that's a good, that's a good time to get two birds of one stone. Honestly, um, I I basically just play to do the savages at the moment. I don't, I don't want to. Just other games I want to play. Honestly, that's that's all it comes down to. I'm like, do the savages and. At it. Oh. In my head. Thank you. Oh. I hear a boy. How dare thee? I know. I've been a. I've been a bad free company. How am I on food and potions? Pretty good, I think. I don't think I've burned through too many of them, because I don't bother using a lot of them. In I actually didn't see what that item was. What was that item? <laughs> I just picked up. Tomes? I'm not capping on tomes. I haven't been I haven't been capping on tomes. I'm just not that fussed. Um at the moment. Hello. I'll try and get some time in with it. But two or eight. Yeah. Eighty seven. Halden? God damn. Those will be... So those will be fucking easy. Those will be done in no time, Chloe. Sword seems pretty good. I'm glad someone mentioned it yesterday. Someone mentioned, oh, they want to do a playthrough with the Sword of St. Trina, and I was like, ah, oh, I never even... I never even tried the sword. If anyone... Like, at any point, if anyone has any other weapon recommendations, just toss them out. Because... There's just so many fucking weapons, and it's so easy to just forget I've picked up a weapon and to try. Um, this seems oh a jar. Hello. Uh, let's find let's find a rest spot before we go down there. That's a wound mechanism. God damn man. So boss fights, eh? Also that... Okay, I can see that tree, see that tr paler tree there? I was looking at that across the way. There's four of them. There's three of them. And I thought it was just a tentacle wiggling out of the ground, and I was like... Oh, that's weird. Um... Well, Knight Loretta. Hi! Oh. I should have guessed by the gold fog on the far side that this was the, the this was definitely gonna be the arena. Oh, that's a cool halberd. Can I have it? Sword isn't doing the business against this this lady. That's why shields are nice. You can often get away with so much.
Oh, that's more swords. I was so focused on changing my fucking weapons in the item bar, I missed the attack coming. Oh, okay. Noondale, it seems like, um, there's like, I'm seeing people with memes that are literally just, here's the Moonveil sword, everyone's using the Moonveil sword, which makes me not want to use the Moonveil sword. <laughs> which is a shame, because it does seem like a cool sword. Hang on, boss fight, we're gonna, we're gonna try something a little, a little better for this. Let's try Vike Spirit. I haven't tried this at all yet. But this inflicts madness, apparently. Should be interesting. Hey, DJ. How you doing, man? Am I having fun? This is a cool boss? Nothing special, but cool. Uh, unfortunately, the sleep aspect of my of the weapon I was using doesn't work on it, so... Uh, it's a bit... I'm sure against... Them. I wonder if the madness will even work. Oh, this is the last thing you did last night. Have you have you gotten any other great lords or anything, DJ? Yet? Um, I didn't actually finish the red area. I oh, I did inflict madness. I think I am inflict. I am inflicting madness. I didn't actually finish the red area, I just backed off. Well, I finished some of the red area. I did the, the, the southern castle. But I still have to go back and get Mr. O'Neill uh, and a few other bits and bobs. But yeah, I'm totally out of sync <laughs> with the game's intended path. Well, I mean, I was. I think I'm a little closer now. Shite back. Oh, you double shite bag. Medium load. Sorry, I just have to double check that. Ha! All right, bit of madness. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Never seen it coming. Great boat to boost. Beautiful. The greed. It was worth it. It's a hundred percent worth it. Oh. <laughs> uh, um. Doing a Hogwarts seems like the area to do after Godric to me. Yes, I just I just turned around and then I found the whole southern area and then I wanted to look at Kayla a bit and I basically just kept getting distracted which is how I ended up doing 
so many things out of order. It's basically like I don't I have a feeling you're supposed to come here, maybe, or at least do some of this area before you do Stormvale Castle proper. Because Stormvale Castle itself honestly feels harder than a lot of this. Um, most of what I remember from Stormvale Castle feels harder than this. Um, yes, that's the other thing I was going to do. There we go. Good old projectile spam. So his boss can do one thing well. Still no item. Help me. No item ahead. Behold! Stone Astrolabe. All the more Stone Astrolabe. Oh, Stone Astrolabe. <laughs> I feel like it's a Stone Astrolabe. Seek down. Love to, but... Oh, what if there's a hidden place beneath this? I have a very good weapon art. Oh, I'm definitely gonna try that one. That's too cool to pass up, but it, that's a bow. Oh, fuck, I have to use a bow. God damn it. <laughs> I'll still use it. That's that's worth using. Hey, it's an excuse to use bow, okay? Let's, uh... Let's, uh, call it that. Now... I'm for lover. Lover and three sisters. Oh, just a wee wandering dragon. You have two things? Oh, wait, I didn't see. I didn't see that weapon art. So I got the bow thing and another thing? Oh, hang on. I'm assuming it's going to be a castery kind of looking deal. Is this, was it this one? Frost stump. Loretta's. Oh, Loretta's slash. All arms and twin blades. Loretta slash. Skill of Loretta the Royal Knight. Leap forward imbuing the blade with glintstone. Then ascend accelerating into a sweeping slash. Class? Also, man, I really need to use Smash of War. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's so many there I don't recognize. Like, I don't... I honestly couldn't tell you where I picked them up. I'm like... Kind of a bit... Taken aback by that. any place and it feels very important bow look one yeah yeah that oh it's a spell reina's rise okay it's a spell which is great i probably should try out some of the bows anyway at some point oh we're out here as well okay so that was Right, so we fought Royal Moon Gazing Rouse. Cool. Mushroom? Behold. Thank you. And three. Yeah, okay. I think I see what's happening here. Also, what's up with the sky? I don't remember this. I don't remember seeing this from anywhere, any other angle in the game or any other area. This is, oh, you know what this is? It's this. Emerald sliver that gives off a pale glow or remains of a passing flash of starlight. So I think the rune arc is related to the urn tree. And I'm guessing these are the starlight shards. Okay. Ah, fuck. What do we have? Uh, 
got a shack. I'm getting strong shack vibes over here. Also, where is this? I guess that's the royal capital. Interestingly windy sound right here. There's no little, little cabin there. Where's the third? If there's three sisters here, where's the third? Because I can see two. One, two. Let's see. Be out this way, maybe? Oh, no, there it is. Okay. One, two, and three. So we have to deal with the dragon, or deal around the dragon, at least. What was... What was... Hang on. What was the skill in this we were using <laughs> in that fight? More spear... War spear singed and blistered by fingers. Used by Vike, Knight of the Round Table Hole. Like Vike himself, who's been tormented by the yellow flame. A frenzy from within. Frenzy, flame, thrust. Imbue the spear with the flame of frenzy. Leap forward, plunging into the ground and setting off a maddening explosion. Inflicts both the user and the attacker. Okay. Running is an option. Running is a very real option I might use. I forgot that I, did, I unequipped the fucking spear. <laughs> Hello, you like some madness? I kind of dig the... Oh, what if I hit the hands with the madness? There you go. Frozen armament, eh? What happens with skeletons, actually? That's another good question. Ow. Ow. Okay, skeletons don't give a shit. Watch this, though. If I can get it. You ever have trouble with skeletons? Holy. And permanently dead. No, oh, gods. There's no annoying reactors here. I think I've encountered some elsewhere. The kind of dudes that raise the dudes. But the holy still handles that for me, which is nice. I wonder if this means there's a mariner around here, actually. If there's skeletons just sitting in the road. I want to go... Remind me to go back and search... Zone. Right after this message from our sponsors. Oh. What is that? That's a very big dog. Probably, okay. I was just, uh, just lazy, <laughs> just lazy man. That's all there is to it. I can't. I don't have any other excuse. I feel like here's a question, actually, real legit pineapple question. Should I have picked up some of more uh, talisman slots um, 
for where I am in the game. Have I missed some at some point? Who is this a jail? Usually these guys indicate jail. It is a jail. Hello. More if I progress the story. Okay, I can work with that. So the dogs are dog shit, man. They're so much worse. The dogs and the fingers seem to be like some of the worst. And the the fucking birds. Oh my god, the birds. Because they just the problem is they are hard to hit and they're all their attacks stagger you. So you just you just basically you need to either get a hit in on them to stagger them or you get shit on. Skyrim, you raise it to the top. It must be done, Echo. <laughs> the Lord's <laughs> demand. Hey, Oxy. Thank you very much for the 12 months, man. And the beautiful message. How you doing? The. I should say. Ah, well done. <sighs> Wait. 30,000 souls in the line. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Let's, uh... Sh this should be fine. If this works... If this works the way it always works, I should be okay here. Which at the top? Why don't I spend them? Because I... Oh no, I do have them. Wait, I picked them up. Sorry, I thought I didn't pick them up. I didn't re When did I pick them up? Keep an oxy. How's your week been? <laughs> Talisman effects. Yeah, okay, there's my bits. We know I have I have stuff I do really need these souls for. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a good it was a good idea to to, to eat that. Um, Twenty four for both of these. God, that's how many? Five, ten levels. We need to get to level seventy one. Okay, let's go back up. I want to go back up and have a look at this Three Sisters Malarkey because this is that's more of a. There's three towers there, and it ends, right? I wonder... Three towers, three fingers? Um, there was something about... There was something about... Three fingers being beneath Leanna? Leanna? Hang on. Beneath Leindel. Very bottom lies our lord. Lord of the Frenzied. Three fingers who hold us in thrall. Yeah, there we go. Uh, what weapon are we using next? No, we're, we're on Vikes Pier. Vikes, Vikes Pier. Vikes Peerless Spear. Ah. Uh, look carefully. Um, okay. And red. Getting done working nights, ready for the weekend off. Good stuff. What were you working nights on, if you might mind me asking, Oxy? And as always, feel free to tell me to fuck off. Valid response to crying personal questions. <laughs> In the hospital. Oh yeah, that ah uh, fucking I should have remembered that, cause Vox cause the name, Oxcodon. I don't know why I forgot that. But yes, I hope it's going okay in that case oxy i hope it's i hope it's not too rough it's wild to me that hours doctors work it's kind of terrifying not just doctors sorry medical professionals work it's fucking wild and terrifying 
so many cases people just fucking kept up way, way too fucking long. Oh? Care of someone with an oxycodone allergy last night. Oh. And you were like very careful about touching them and, you know, causing them to explode. Were they having an, uh, an were they having an allergic reaction or were they just was it just on their sheet? God, I hope they weren't having an allergic reaction. Hello. Oh. Light. What the heck? A mask fashioned from the head of Black Wolf. Relic of an assassin assumed the guise of Rani the Witch's loyal shadow. The likeness is striking. Huh. Blythe is Rani's shadow, you say? Okay. Well, <laughs> we skipped that, <laughs> skipped that, uh, it, ah, motherfucker. Locked shut for now. Just a little chest, eh? Just a little chesty. I have met, I've met Blythe. Shut for now, okay. Well, that is not how I meant to get down, but that'll do. Just on this sheet, figured. I've never... I've never had an allergic reaction to most anything. Uh, Orange is about the most, but I've never had a bigger aller allergic reaction to any medicine. I'm glad I haven't. I learned recently, actually, um... Resin, working with resin. Um... If you're not careful, uh, you'll develop a resin allergy if you breathe it in or uh, get to make too much contact with it. You'll actually develop a resin allergy, with can which can be fatal uh, over time. I don't think it's 100% guaranteed to be fatal, but yeah. Um, which is like, is, I learned this because I was looking up stuff about resin 3D printing. And now I'm like, ah, oh, cool, so I need to be extra fucking careful. On top of the already extra fucking careful uh, you should be with anything toxic. And Nameless King again, kind of know how to deal with the dragon now. Nameless King's not too bad. Once you once you get the hang of him, he's he's actually not the worst. He's definitely not the hardest thing in, in DS3. Um, basil. spells or ranged weapons that's cheating dragoon god how dare you how dare you suggest using magic or ranged weaponry and not facing them 1v1 with a plus 10 blunt sword i i i feel like we could be friendly you know i think we could have a good thing so i'm gonna like try and skip around you if you don't mind This one is this one not blocked? Oh, let's go! Not fucking blocked. Rani's rise. Hello. We're we actually gonna meet Rani here. Um, Salus, Rina, and Rani. Perhaps the children of Renala. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll stop breaking your shit, Rani. When everyone go to meta, but it's a restricted meta. Yep. You gotta do play the meta, but also you know you can't use too much, otherwise you're cheating. That's that's cheating, Cora. You can't you can't play like that. Um, 
Remind me to check. I need to talk to Melina more. Because I keep fucking forgetting to check at her thingy. If you guys see, if any any point you see a talk to Melina pop up and I don't cop it, just tell me about it. Or if you know of any that are on bonfires that I have previously visited, let me know. I know there's one here that I haven't talked to yet, but I don't know of any others. Leveling, no shields, no siphon glue, no joy, no no drinking, no water, no bathroom breaks. Um, SL1, also, if you're over like five years old, you're, you're cheating because you're using your real life levels to make up for the lack of leveling in the game, and that's cheating. Hello, Granny. It's a pleasure to meet you again. Oh, again we cross paths. I believe I said my name was Rena when last we met. It pleaseth me to see Torrent hale and hearty, oh, but Rena. tarnished. What business hast thou here? Wait. I have no memory of ink in thee an invitation. You know, no particular reason. <laughs> no reason in particular thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered <laughs> thee to this reunion. Hmm. <laughs> thou enter into my hey, service. Burke. I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path, that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? Stole death? I feel like that's gonna make me, you and me, an enemy. No, not you and me, an enemy. You an enemy of a lot of people I like. Uh, no, for now. Can I hope I can? I see. More's the pity. Come to me again, shouldst thou change okay, thy heart. Cool. Surrendering thyself into the service of a dull witch is not as frightful as thou fearest. So she is a doll, like the soldiers, okay, but she's weirder, because they're more mannequin-like. Or she's kind of held together with thread in a weird way. And of course she has that whole fucking second face coming out of her face, which is pretty odd. And the closed... The closed other eye. The opposite to Melina's closed ah. eye. Art thou persuaded to my cause? Then... Again, I shall. I uh, see. Sure. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer. I know nothing I about you. As much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. <laughs> what do you? Good. What am I doing? Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is in my service a half woven oh, warrior. Okay. By the name of Blythe, I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the eternal oh. city. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Yo. Take from him the particulars. Okay, cool. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G., e. oh, yes. my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor Salavis. in the sorcerous arts also. He Did I meet a Salavis? Peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them. What advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. Also, really, really neat little detail. If you notice the two eyes, when the real eye blinks, so too does the ethereal eye. I was at Saluvis's rise. I was at Saluvis's rise. But we're at this so this one's Rani's. What about Rena then? What happened to Rena? Speak with the three who await thee below. If you're Rani, it's not indulge them unduly. But they too wish to appraise thy worth. It okay. has been a passing long time I'm since you look, come look, and okay. my service. We're gonna pick. Uh, if we're gonna pick a waifu, the four-handed lady is easily the best choice because with all those hands, she can give the best back rubs 
Like, think about just how nice she could hug you and give you a back rub at the same time. Think about how glorious that would be. Think about the comfort and joy she could bring us. She does not show feet. Those are her feet. Those are those are straight up her feet. That's all, that's all she's got. Does Melina show her feet? I don't remember Melina showing her feet. No, it's zero out of ten. Uh, I wonder if the dragon's still gonna be mad. <laughs> If I still have to kill the dragon, I'm fine. I'm okay with that. Are those not socks? No, I'm pretty sure those are part of her. Because if you actually notice on her hands as well, her hands are see-through, but her hands aren't fully connected, but are connected together by that same... I, I'm, I, to me, it looks like woven thread, uh, like yarn holding her together. I don't need to be bare feet. Well, if, if, her, if her feet are literally made of socks, I think that's fair. I think that counts as bare feet. Hang on. Hey. I was I did this. I've looked at her. I've looked. We've already. Yeah. OK, so see. See the hands. The hands are like threads. Uh, the hands are like threads holding on the other hands. Oh, and look at that little ring on her finger as well. Hello. Huh, okay. Um, yeah, so she's got, like, threads holding her together. And then her feet are made of also threads. And her hat. So it's possible her hat is also, like, literally a part of her. Uh, I can get that inside scoop. Special? Anything special in the hat? No special, no no sec secrets in the hat. Okay. Well. Speak with the thou needs not indulge them. In Seeing gifts of her using all four hands to pet puppies. That sounds amazing. Think of all the puppies she can pet. How wholesome. How wholesome a waifu do you need? Clearly the best. You are... You're not? What? Oh, so you were the one. Lady Rani has explained everything. Again, I am Iji, the Karian royal family's dedicated blacksmith and Lady Rani's war counselor. I am told that you are searching for Nokron with Blythe. I will give you whatever guidance I can and pray for your success. My apologies for the misleading words of warning. It's I okay. never imagined that an audience, let alone service to Lady Rani, was in your fate. I, for one, should have seen it, but I did not. Do forgive me, my oh, fellow. These people seem so nice. Do I'm doing whatever. Ourselves. I'm doing whatever ending they want to do. For Lady Rani. Whatever you all, you guys want to plunge the world into eternal darkness. I'm together. down for it. These guys are great. For Lady Rani. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. I have a strong feeling that this is like a alt ending path kind of deal. Let it has that vibe. Together. It's the simp. Oh, it's we're all gonna simp for Lady Rani. That's it. Mm. Excellent. Okay. Long time, friend. Blythe, if you've forgotten, glad to have you in the service of Mistress Rani. Well, getting right to business. I'm still in Limgrave. The eternal city of Nokron lies somewhere at the bottom of this land. I'm planning to go below through the well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron from there. Well, I'm actually quite familiar I'm with that area, Blythe. The well in the Mistwood. See if I can't find the road to Nokron. Don't keep me waiting, eh? I'm going below through the well in the mistwood. Okay, well, we have a direction now. And you're Saluvis then, I guess. I see. You must be Rani's new hireling. So you could have been yes. another sorcery yes, teacher for I've me. I've heard all about you. I am Saluvis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts. 
I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you, but since we have the misfortune of serving the same lady, I ask that you kindly try not to drag us all down with you. I wonder if you're super smart. I reside in another tower close by. Well, you're not a sister. Come pay me a visit. Should you wish to be of actual service to Mistress Rani? So provincial tarnished. If you were up to me, I wouldn't waste my time on the likes of you. But who am I to stand against the wishes of my lady? I reside. Come and pay me a visit. Who got it, boss? What about the dragon? Is the dragon cool? Are we cool with dragon now? Can we go pet the dragon? Here to be trapped. What? Wait, what? Am I? In I can't be getting invaded. Can we? Uh, hello. go talk to Rani again after meeting all her boys. Okay, okay. Wow, that is that is aggressive, Miyazaki. What the fuck? That's so strange. You can't even teleport, jeez. I'm going below to see if I can't find Donkey. You know what? Screw name is King. I'm just gonna see what NG Plus is like. There. Let us get together. There's not like Nameless King is a cool fight, but you know, eh. <laughs> if you're not enjoying it, fuck it. Not like you literally can't go to NG Plus and just have a, some bit of crack and then come back and go be overpowered, but then he's also overpowered because you're in NG Plus and then he ruins you anyway. Classic, classic stuff. Hey, Rani. Ah, allow me to forewarn thee. I shall soon enter my slumber, and it will be some time before I wake. This doll's body is not without its hindrances. Still, I have high hopes for thee. I look forward to the good news when I oh. arise. And she's going for a nap? She's a I sleepy shall princess soon enter too. My slumber, and I have high look forward this to is the, the this is the best. This is the best storyline. Okay, we're one hundred percent in on in on Lady Rani. <laughs> I just see Dragoon, I just seen Dragon Knees nuts across your face. Fair. Fair. I I accept? Wait. Pickle? Uh, let's go check out Saluvis's. Let's go check out the other two towers. And also, I guess, the dragon. <laughs> Maybe just die to a dragon real quick. That should be fine. I don't see any downsides. She may be handy, but she can be a bit two-faced. Mm. Mm. Oh, and she's got all the she's got all the hands in her service too. Can we just can we just appreciate? So not only not only can she give the best back rubs and pet lots of dogs, she can command an army to do the same. Hi. Um. Okay. I feel like I feel like he's protecting Rani, so I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like I feel like it might be a bad idea to kill this dragon. So so I'm not gonna. Adula does not like me. No, that's. Uh, I don't want to say understandable. But let's 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 leave. So is this Saluvis's tower? It is. Hello. Well, well, you took me at my word. Did you not realize I was merely being polite? Oh, you provincials never cease to amaze. Just... Uh, I suppose you're here now. Perhaps I'll give you something to do. I'd like you to find a woman called Nefeli to administer a potion. Even you can do that much, can't you? Good. Good. 
Now I shall hand over the potion in question. Belovus's potion. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. I expect glad tidings, and soon. <laughs> Why does this feel like it's not the right idea? The only thing Look I at his hat too. Is a report of your oh, he's an astronomer. Position. Are we understood? Then off you trot. I have enough on my plate. Oh, he's got strong Professor Snape energy. No time for the only thing I he literally gives you a potion. Like, that's already literally Professor Snape's thing. Uh, inventory. You're not gonna teach me shit? Senpai? All plants receive preceptor. Silly was containing a cloudy tonic of bluish black. Find Nefeli and ensure she drinks it. Let's have a close look at this as well. Details of... Nothing... There's nothing that strikes me in the details of... Of it. Yeah, and another memory stone. Fucking A. Got <laughs> cell energy. Right, Snape energy. Same thing. I'm glad we're all on the same page. Oh, oh right. Yeah, this, is, this was the run we ran up before. Okay. I don't really have any have any words because I just stole some of his shit. I have no time for the only thing I, are we under I have enough. I have enough on my plate. Potter. It's not actually a good snake impression, just for the record. Good dickhead impression though. I kinda wanna kill the dragon, kinda don't wanna kill the dragon. Granny's place still closed, though. Arena's, sorry. Locked shut for now. Okay. Let's... I want to have a quick... I wonder will Melina have anything to say about, about this development? Or will she even notice? Well, no, she has been watching over me, though. If I don't... If I'm not mistaken. Maybe what does anyone have in the... Old say. No, so you don't have. Okay. Try the new. Oh yes. Uh, Ashes of War. Um. This is the one. God, there is a lot of them to try out. Um, 178 plus 56. Sixty-three, seventy-eight, fifty-six, sixty-three, eighty, fifty-six, four 50, 56, 63, 80, 56, 4 plus 20, down by 17. Heavy's better. Ooh. And this is, no, no, yeah, this is, Keen is not as good for me. And magic is magic. Uh, heavy, please. Let's maybe toss it on some other weapons as well, I guess. Did I upgrade any others? Ooh, this already has a weapon art. I don't want to fuck with this because I don't think I have an ash. I don't think I have an ash with that weapon art yet. And that's a kind of interesting weapon art. I actually do kind of want to use that at some point. No, I do have it. Ah, spinning strikes. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually, I do want to use that one, so... Let's... What else can we change weapon arts on to dick around with? Uh, flame of the Red Mains. Flaming Strike. Ice Spear. Cold, you say. Frost's Frost Buildup, you say. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go for a Cold Twin... Twin Blame. The Great e -peen is also a nice choice. And what about our Zweihander? We'll give you something. You can have... Frost Stomp. Or oh, Frost Stomp, yeah, actually. Um, 71. That plus 24, minus 16. Okay, yeah, Heavy seems to just be the, the go-to for me. 
in particular. For basically everything. Which katana is not really upgraded. I haven't upgraded many of the other basic weapons. I've upgraded a bunch of special weapons, but nothing else really. Um Yeah, okay. Remind me to test that test this lot out now. In fact, let's just do it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, was there a follow-up to that? Then sweeping slash. No, okay. Very anime. There's a lot of very anime-looking shit in this game. <laughs> nice. What's some of the other ones we mess we're messing around with here? Oh... That's, that's pretty cool. Okay. Little, little underwhelming in terms of what it actually does. But still neat. We should probably try a bow one here too. We have shield ones too. We should give a, give a lash. Frost don't have any follow-up. Trail of freezing, freezing mist on the ground. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go with the big, big slash o for a little bit. So, has anything changed up here? These are the astrolabe things, right? What if... Huh. Agile recovers FP. Shard of the Saturn Elden Ring. Grants the blessing would equip great ruin upon use. Hmm. So the Elden Ring is kind of like the sun? Let's... I want to quickly jump over here. And we can have a chat with... Oh, we should do Blythe's place, shouldn't we? Let's have, no, let's have a chat with Melina first. See what she has to say. Then let's head back to the place. Hello. Your seamster, Bok. He is always eager to see your return. Oh, Please. really? Will you talk to him when you can? Oh. I'm sure he would be much contented. Oh, that's cute. You got anything else to tell me about? Also, don't do anything to my own clothes. Oh. So you've watched the latest Sunbreak trailer? I have indeed watched the latest Sunbreak trailer. Bok is the goodest boy. He seems a little... Ready to make adjustments to your garments. He seems a little off, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. He's a bit... He's a bit, like, ominous sounding. Going so soon? Please do be safe on your journeys. Please. Bok the seamster at your service, master. Oh, he sounds a little better there. Adjustments to your garments. He sounded he sounded eviler the first try, and now he sounds gooder. Sir, everything, Bach. Oh, going so soon? Is that but monkey? It is monkey. Safe on your journeys. Just you wait, boy. I have the coolest fucking needle for you. Dog more like... No, I'm fairly certain he's... Uh, he's de demi... Demi human boy. Um, okay. Right. The four belfries. Still have to search up that area. Um, this is the four belfries, so that's a chest. Right. So, these sound quite interesting, and there's only three of them. You have the gold needle? I do have the gold needle, but it's not giving me the opportunity to give it to him yet. Use an imbued sword key. These even have, like, these even have night sky unceasing. Like, they have special names and all. I'm a little afraid that this, these, are like quick travel to the end game or something. I would be 
that's a this is a pineapple question will this somehow magically transport me to like the end of the fucking game so you can do a speed run and, and then if i do that it'll fuck up everything else in the game um ah uh, good okay because i kind of I'm, I'm curious about this night sky on sea on unceasing Standalone areas, okay. They they sound like spooky, <laughs> to be honest. They sound pretty. Oh. <laughs> like, like about that um, Eternal City shenanigans, you know. I know what you're talking about. I know you were looking for that a little earlier, but um, well. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I found it. Uh, interesting. This thing you gotta do before you can give the sewing kit to Bach? Do I need to sew? Oh, no, wait. No, no. I'm assuming I need to get. Like, it says it in the description, it's for demigod um, clothing. So I'm assuming I need demigod clothing before I can actually do anything with Bok. Or do I have to upset him by altering my own garments again? Because I kind of don't want to do that. If it's either of those two, feel free to feel free to point it out. Otherwise, yes. an adjustable piece of demigod gear. Yeah. Okay. That's that's exactly what I expected it to be. It probably, it might even be the same for regular, the regular needle, if you don't have any regular adjustable gear, if you somehow got there without regular adjustable gear. God, this place is so fucking pretty looking, man. Hello. Oh, you're a crucible knight. Hello. Are you cool, bud? Is that even possible? Uh, maybe? Bottle necklace. We haven't been wearing... Oh, whoops. Raises robustness, immunity, and focus. Um, there we go. 40 a piece, is it? Yeah, by 40 apiece, that's pretty solid. There it is, okay. All right, let's give this um, Art of War its fair lash. It almost feels, this, these boots almost feel too shiny for, for Podge. That's better. <laughs> Before I found that one. Oh, really? It's Crucible Knight. Good luck. Yeah, it'll be fine. Bye. Well. It was not, in fact, fine.
it's a boss without a health bar. Yeah, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a baby boss. He's a tiny wee, tiny wee boss boy. Tiny wee boss bitch boy. Is this going to bring us all the way back to fucking... It is, okay. Um, <laughs> sure. Why not? Man, wait till, wait till Blythe hears this though. <laughs> Hey, uh, you know that, like, super secret city you were looking for? Yeah, I found it. Uh... Did the Miyazaki? I mean, it's a, it's a classic of basically all video games at this stage, I'd say. Um... Here's the plan. I wonder, can I cheese him, actually? I'm kind of, I'm almost tempted. Let's find out. Because that's a, that's a nice looking corner there. And if I know anything about corners in video games, it's uh, AI really doesn't know how to flip an handle. Oh, hello. Sir? <laughs> Come on. Oh. I guess not. I guess his, I, I don't want to say his AI has been upgraded because this isn't an up. This isn't an upgraded AI. This is he just gets to cheat his way through this one. <laughs> Okay, um, I guess we'll give him a lash. I'd rather not run back for these souls again. Ow. But I might not have a choice now, actually. Can't see me. Said he can't see me. You don't know I'm here. I don't think that worked. <laughs> okay. Hodge, essence of the night. <laughs> We're just. Just gonna quickly uh try to pop back out of here now for for a wee second. Sorcerer Selen. Blythe is around here. He said he was gonna go to the well, right? Have a look see. So, I wanna talk, quickly talk to Sorcerer Selen as well. I wanna see if she has any new dialogue for me. And who's the... I still have to figure out what... There you are. Shall we commence? No, oh, okay. Nothing new for me. Um... Thops is a boy. Um... There's the lady trapped underneath here. I'm actually curious to see if anything's changed with her in the meantime. There's like another lady that looks just like Selen, but she's tied up. We doing a catacomb? Yes, actually. Um, let's do that now in a minute. I just want to check on this sorceress lady. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to go to this one. Roads and catacombs. Up in the top, up in, up in the west side. Midwest. Midwest. There we go. That's the words. We got... What was it we got out of this place? We got, like, a specific thing. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. 
It'll do no good, I swear it. And yet you persist. You frothing degenerates. Why does she still think she's being tortured? A fur pickle. <laughs> Beak research. Okay. Yeah, there was an item right here. She fucking nailed. Yeah, she's uh. These are a couple of crystal daggers holding her into the wall through her hands. That's a solid nailing. Some good Jesus action right there. Uh, actually, I'm gonna quickly just quick stop off with a dragon, uh, dragon communion altar because there's like a, like a half a couple dragon hearts, you know, bits, couple buys. Good, hydrate. Dragon Claw, Trammel's Dragon, Trammel's Dragon Claw, Dragon Claw, Trammel's Dragon Claw, Trammel's Dragon No, this is, none of these, neither of these are new, are they? Um, oh, we can use Dragon Claw now, though. Yeah, fuck it. I wonder, was there another, do I need to go to a different Dragon Altar? So stretch. Freaking. I should have known. I should have known what was going, man. Should have seen it. Okay, okay. I'll be back in a minute. Clone, I will. Hang on. Let me. Let me fur call a bit. Also need the multiplayer password. B U U N S. There we go. I will be back. I'll be back in just a few moments. If you have been watching the stream as well for the past two and a half hours, perhaps consider getting up, having a bit of stretch yourself. Just good ones. Good ones to do, by the way, for real. Hand stretches. Uh, I meant to, I meant to like watch a video with you and like maybe we should do that actually. Um. Let's do a hand and finger stretching routine. I've been meaning to do this forever. Um, but like, it's a good thing all of us should really be doing, given how many video games we play and how long we spend on computers and keyboards and all that shit. Just how much shit is required of your fingers these days. Stretches. Better be amazing, Mr. Ad Adarsh Williams. Hold the arm slightly lower than the shoulder with palm facing down. Extend the hand back toward you as though looking at your cuticles. The opposite hand may assist by gently pulling back at the hand. The continuation of the stretch is to turn the palm up. As you assist in pulling back the hand, imagine that you're pressing the heel of the hand forward. To stretch into this is what I was getting myself in for. Muscles, you'll hold the arm in front with the palm facing down. Flex the hand back at the wrist. As you assist with the opposite hand, be sure that you're pulling at the hand rather than the fingers. To intensify the stretch, you may curl the fingers into a fist and continue with the same method of gentle assistance. To stretch the deep wrist pronator muscles, it's necessary to lock the elbow into the body to prevent movement in the upper arm and shoulder. Once you the elbow that. is locked in, turn the palm up into a supinated position. You may assist this action by gently gripping with the opposite hand. 
Stretch it to the deep. Okay, no, no. What the fuck was that? By gently gripping with the opposite hand. Stretch it to the deep supinator muscles by keeping the elbow locked in with the opposite hand. Stretch So I'm like to pull. You lock, you lock, you lock this part of your elbow, and then you pull, you pull back this way. Ooh, it's done. You posted it. <laughs> uh, I was having a chat with DJ earlier. <laughs> Hang on. Uh... Having a chat with DJ earlier, and then DJ went and made this. <laughs> the hottest Twitch takes. Um, let, let's finish. Sorry, let's finish the finger the finger stretching first, okay? So how does how does he do this next bit? To the deep supinator muscles by keeping the elbow locked into the same position, then simply turn in the opposite direction. Oh, he's Again, not actually. Give yourself uh, a gentle uh, assist with the opposite hand. Hang on. Opposite direction. Locked and gripping with the opposite. I had a. I was doing that all wrong. I was doing that entirely wrong. I was still doing this. He actually wants you to do so. Hand. Hand. Down. And then. Oh, do I have to push it? In? Push it outwards? That's pushing it outwards. So if I have the hand down there. Dude, how are you even. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I get it. Hang on. Never mind. Okay, that's... Jeez. I hope you all are doing these stretches with me, by the way. That's not... That's part of the deal. Uh, to stretch fucking... the deep wrist pronator muscles, it's necessary to lock the elbow into the body to prevent yeah. movement in the upper arm and shoulder. Once the elbow is locked in, turn the palm up into a supinated position. You may assist this action by gently gripping with the opposite hand. Stretch into the deep supinator muscles by keeping the elbow Formation. locked into the same position. Then simply turn in the opposite direction. I gotta do all these on the other you hand again, by the way. Gentle assist with the opposite hand. Does this not look healthy? In before, in before we, we, we stop Stretch and we look at this guy and he's a fucking chiropractor. Simply oppose the thumb toward the small finger. You may intensify this by curling the fingers around the thumb into a fist. And continue with a downward movement of the hand, giving no, a that's fine. Assist. This is more than enough. To stretch the thumb flexor or pad of the thumb, mm. you can assist the thumb in moving toward the small finger it's on so the painful. back side of the hand. I don't think that's supposed to be painful. It's literally just, I'm literally just, Stretching like, it's just thumb, the thumb adductor grab, by and then... And gently pulling the thumb back away from the other fingers. Why is that so... Jesus, I'm, this is a lot more than I'm normally used Stretching to. Stretching to the thumb adductor, or pad of the thumb, you can assist the thumb in moving toward the small finger this on I the can back do. side of the hand. Stretch into the thumb adductor by abducting and gently pulling the thumb back away from the other fingers. Say adducting something. You've got to explain what the Stretch fuck that the means, dude. Stretch the one at a time by pinning down the opposite three while gently assisting the isolated finger in moving into extension. You may repeat the stretch several times for each finger as needed. That's an easy one. Oh, that's a good one as well. That one feels damn good. I highly recommend this Stretch one. the finger extensors one at a time by holding back three while gently assisting the isolated finger into moving into flexion. You may repeat the stretch several times for each finger as needed. Is that what he just showed us a second ago? Stretch the webbing of the fingers by spreading oh, the fingers no. wide, giving gentle ah. assistance with the fingers of the opposite hand. This routine for the wrist and hand can give relief for any number of far. conditions related to By the way, look how far second, apart his fingers stretch. Syndrome. Always use gentle rhythmic stretching, holding each stretch for only two seconds before releasing to a neutral, non-stretch position. For more information and full body stretching okay. sequences, visit now I'm do all of that again. On the other hand. Oh, 
Okay. Did I look into the foreplay tutorial? Yeah, we're, we're prepping our hands for foreplay later. Arm slightly um, lower than the shoulder. Okay, palm other hand. Down. Extend the hand back toward you as though looking at your cuticles. The opposite hand may assist by gently pulling back. Said, hey, leader, hand. how you doing, man? Sorry, the mic didn't pick me the up. The continuation of the stretch is to turn the palm up. As you assist in pulling back the hand, imagine that you're pressing the heel of the hand forward to stretch into the wrist extensor muscles. You'll hold the arm in front with the palm facing down. Flex the hand back at the wrist. As you assist with the opposite hand, be sure that you're pulling at the hand rather than the fingers. To intensify the stretch, you may curl the fingers into a fist and continue with the same method of gentle assistance. To stretch the deep wrist pronator muscles, it's necessary to lock the elbow into the body to prevent movement yeah, this in the, the one I had arm trouble with. shoulder. Once the elbow is locked oh, in, yeah. turn the palm up into a supinated position. You may assist this action by gently gripping with the opposite hand. Stretch into the deep Just gently as well. I'm not going hard on any of this. I'm just locked into the same position. Just doing a little bit. Turn in the opposite direction. Again, just a tiny bit. A gentle assist with the just like he's hand. doing, just a little pull and then leave it. I'm glad you're enjoying to it, stretch man. The thumb extensor, Especially in this time of the thumb endless the Elden Ring content. You may intensify this <laughs> by curling the fingers around the thumb I into must, a I've been, I've been lurking a little bit, but I haven't gotten a chance to properly watch. Hand, a have you done, assist. leader, have you done the... Oh yeah, this is the hard one. <sighs> okay, don't hold that for too long. That really, that's really sore. To stretch you the hold thumb that for too flexor long. or pad of the oh. thumb, oh. you can assist the thumb in moving toward the small finger on the back side of the hand. Stretch into the thumb adductor by abducting and gently pulling the thumb back away from the other fingers. Stretch the finger flexors one at a time by pinning down the opposite three while gently assisting the isolated finger in moving. Oh, I was doing this wrongly last time, so you it's may repeat the stretch pin down times three. For each oh right, I get it. Okay, so it's pin down. So it's like one out and then pin down the other three, and then one out and then pin down the other three. Then stretch yeah, the like this. Extensors one at a time by oh. holding back. Three and then the, this is the other way around. Gently assisting the isolated it's, finger into moving yeah. into flexion. Yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. You may repeat the stretch several times for each finger as needed. I lie, that feels pretty good. <laughs> Stretch the webbing of the fingers by spreading ah, the fingers me. This again. wide, giving gentle assistance <laughs> with the fingers of the opposite hand. This routine for the wrist and hand. Are you doing a lie, by the way? For any number of conditions related to this area, oh. including carpal tunnel. Want to play more too? It's a good. Does, okay. Stretching. Want to stream stretch, whatever you want? Is technically the right thing to do, but when you stream a game, even if you enjoy it and no one watches, it still feels bad. So there's a degree of still wanting to find that balance between something you really want to play and something people really want to watch too. I don't think a game's going to perform. Well, I just play it myself. Though recently I very much feel like I want to play more different stuff but play it like to show it to people and stuff like that. Also a lot more, I want to do more VR. I want to do way more VR. I can, can we get a shout out for leader, by the way, please and thank. Ooh. Oh, and we got to watch our hot take. Udix, no, Udix, Udix doesn't hold up. Udix doesn't hold up at all in New Game Plus. <laughs> Um, he doesn't, he doesn't last, unfortunately. Okay, okay. Uh, when you're starting out, try to have the viewer list open at all times so that if you see a brand new person come in, you can just say, hey, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for stopping in. And that might encourage that person to talk to you and actually engage in the chat. And you might have earned your first follower for life. Serious? When you're starting out, try to have the viewer list open at all times. So gold, DJ. Fucking in, gold. You can just say, hey, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for stopping in. Oh, and that might encourage beautiful. That to talk to you and actually engage in the chat. <laughs> and you might have earned your. 
for context, folks, um, this is the this is the the hot takes Twitter. I suggested this to TJ earlier today, and he went ahead and made it like that. Um, but basically, reposting, you know, good Twitch advice, um, and that's DJ's doing. Uh, DJ, sorry, Ninja's doing a masterclass. Which is like a it's it's a it does like a masterclass service where basically these people who are experts in their field do like a course on this thing, and he's doing one for streaming slash content creation, um, and that's one of the bits of advice he has in his trailer for it, and here's okay I said this to DJ earlier, I hate that advice and if you if that if someone ever did that to me I would be gone out of their ch chat in record time um but i'm gonna defend ninja a little bit and say it depends on your audience ninja is not targeting the same audience as me or dj or in fact mo most of us on twitch that are streaming in this kind of fashion because we want our peers our you know people around the same age as us and stuff like that ninja wants success and he found success specifically with kids. <laughs> and I imagine calling out kids might work out a little better. Like, they'll be like, oh my god, uh, and, and shit. I don't know if it's actually good advice in that thing, but I don't know. But I, it's not for me, and it's not for the kind of audience I would want. It's bad advice for me, and frankly, most people. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyway, I just needed to get that outside. And sorry, clone, you've been waiting this whole time. That was a long stretch, too. God. Good stretch, though. Wow, let's go. What's worse than the rapist? I already... I, wait, what? <laughs> oh, friend. Oh. Play the hottest flavor of the month. Get lucky as fuck. It's not, it's not just play the hottest flavor. So... That's so. How do I how do I explain it? It's it's a combo. It's a, like it's like a combo pack, man. There's like a lot of things you can do to get popular on Twitch. Playing the right games is one of them. Playing the flavor of the month game and getting lucky is one. Um, but the consistent way to do it is to just play the right games that have you in the right category, that have good viewership, and have you relatively high up the rankings. So if you wanted to start on Twitch, start out with games where you're going to be in the top row. And honestly, kind of just stick to that for a lot of it. And network as well, I guess. I fucking hate, like, the concept of net the concept of networking in that way is stupid. But don't, don't, don't network for the sake of growing. Just network because you find other fucking people you like watching, okay? Dear God. But hey, what the fuck do I know? I'm not Ninja. So, you know, maybe, maybe... You know, maybe I'm full of shit. Maybe his masterclass. Maybe, maybe somewhere. If you, if you go, I, I was literally about to say maybe somewhere a heavy door opened. Oh, hello. Just play Gungeon and raid streamers same size and demographics as you. Uh, honestly, yeah, kinda. Um, oh, who died here? Was this? Was this clone? No clone. <laughs> Oh shit, sorry Claude, I'm getting totally distracted. I'm too I'm too hyped up on my own fucking me good streamer ho hopium. Me know what I'm doing. No for realsies, guys. Listen to me, don't listen to Ninja. Here's the other thing as well. We're shitting on we're shitting on Ninja, but at the end of the day he Okay. There's two sides to this, right? There's two two sides to this. One side is he is successful and I am not. Um Though he is treating it in a much different way that, than I am, so... Yeah. Um, but... Also... Just because he got... A successful business out of streaming... Does not mean his advice is universally good. No one... No one who's successful at business... Or few people who are actually successful at business their advice is automatically good because in a lot of play cases they they just they just happen to be doing they they maybe they were actually good business people but they also just happen to be right place right time right demographic right game right personality to click 
with and make an audience and right point in their life where they could grab and hold on to that momentum and push it forward as well. Like there's so many, there's so many fucking things. Yeah, it's like inherent well. It's it's not as bad as that, but it's the same kind of thing. It's like, oh hello, Jesus, holy crap, clone. <laughs> Uh, I guess I gotta wear all this now. I probably won't have the, the, the carry capacity for this. Uh, medium load? We're actually still at medium load. Oh, we might be, we might be okay. Halo Scythe. Halo Scythe? Am I the Mr. Chief? Also, can we see... Can we see Podge's face in this? We can't see Podge's face. Oh, that's, that's, oh. Need a convergence of good things aligning. There's, hmm. I don't want to say there's no blueprint because there are definitely things you can do and work you can put in to make yourself have good odds of being successful. But there is ultimately an element of, there is still a very big element of luck. And that is, that will always be true. But again, maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. So, you know, don't, don't actually listen to me. And who knows, maybe people will take Ninja's masterclass and they'll actually be successful. And it'll turn out his advice was actually good. Like, I fucking don't think it's going to happen, but it's possible. <laughs> it's technically possible. Yo, look at this. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Yo, uh, what do the other ones do? Clean rot, tree spear, clean rot spear. Oh. What was the last one you gave me, clone? Oh, dude, thank you for this. This is fucking excellent stuff. You just have to, you just have to fucking farm for this. Because if so, this is, I mean, I would have done it off stream, but this saves me a bit of time. What was that I was going to ask you earlier? Oh, I asked you earlier. That's a good, uh, that's a good question, actually. Um, I actually have no clue. It was just a regular sword, nothing special. What's up here? There is stuff over here. Ooh. Oh, that's the watchdog staff. Uh, that's the staff from the dude we fought. Uh, I'm 100% upgrading these sides and using them today, by the way. Also, wait, where? Where are you, Clum? I have... <laughs> uh. Other flip nuggets. Root resin. That was not worth it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it wasn't worth it. Oh, really? Jesus, how much is in this place? Secret ahead, therefore try attacking. Uf. Wait. Wait, what? But we opened a. On. So what did we open earlier? Was it just a trap? Mullocks, they don't have the lip at the bottom. Mm. I'll keep that in mind. I thought I... Wait. I'm an idiot. Never mind. 
Okay, no, yeah, we're good. Okay, so that lever opened up in that spot. But yeah, there's still a little bit down here I want to look at, because I haven't been down here. Ooh. Good at video games, I swear. Oh my god, I wonder if people are going to appear out of places. Oh, I'm so shocked. It's people who appeared in places. Gotcha. Man. This can be a slight improvement to the outfit. Fuck, that puts us in heavy load. <laughs> Glorious. Rhea Lucaria Soldier's Assassin. Spirit increases. Oh, really? Um. Weapon commanders of Melania's army. They have half Halo Blade deals holy damage. Um. One sec. Jill's based. Incantation that wards off rot. Ah, neat. Hang on. Three AM, thirty two degrees outside. Less air conditioning later. Uh, also legitimately gungeon good stream game. <laughs> if that's what you want to do. <laughs> Uh, to be fair to Twitch, they have been working to get more, to put in place more stuff that recommends people just randomly, or more randomly. Not randomly, but like, does more to recommend not just the big dogs. There we go. There's so many goofy helmets. They, I, I have, I, I still, I need more goofy helmets though. Like I, on the goofy helmet chart, I'm actually pretty, pretty poor right now. What's the damage on this spear? Um, I feel like I'm gonna do no damage to this boss, and clones just gonna fucking annihilate them. Spirit collar snail. Oh hello. You are not a snail. Wait, no! You're not the boss. Fucking called it. <laughs> Knew it. My god, that's a crucible knight. Got the Giga Brain? I've played enough of these games to know. <laughs> I've played enough of these games to know this. Know the strats. Hang on, I've a I've a good strategy here. It's called use a better weapon. The madness! The madness is fucking with him! Where are you? There you are. <laughs> Nikes. Can I have that one? Glint collar. Jeez, this is a lucrative dungeon. Madness. Do like this. I'm gonna upgrade those spears. Let's fucking let's go and upgrade the shit out of those. Thank you, clone, for the the free stuff as well. That's very kind of you. Also, it's pretty fucking cool free stuff. How do I? I gotta I gotta make it work for podge fashion though. You know, like we can't. It's not quite enough to have it just as it is. Can we get a cape on it? Let's see if Buck. Let's see if Buck can put it. Give us a cape. If we got a cape, 
I'm I'm willing to I'm willing to take it. I'm willing to use it. Uh, probably also worry about the equip weight, but nah. You don't buck. Lock the seat. Ready to make it. Sir. Cape. That's looking pretty capey. No, that's not a cape. Oh. 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 oh okay. I can just get rid of the frilly bits, I guess. Uh, I'm a little disappointed, honestly. Fork is ready to make it. Oh. Oh, the cape is part of the helmet. Oh no. No. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck. I want I want my cape. I'm I'm incredibly I'm incredibly cheesed off now. That's why you use the crimson hood so much. <sighs> Shit, how do we how do we fix this? Like exiled armor. I mean actually this actually works quite well, never mind. <laughs> this actually does kind of work. Um, crimson hood is yeah, this one. Uh, I think I've seen the Navy Hood, though. I haven't been able to get it. Winged Helm of the Clean Rotten Knights, celebrated for their undefeated campaign in the Shattering. The Clean Rotten Knights vowed to fight alongside Melania. Despite the inevitable, if gradual, putrefaction of their flesh, their acceptance of their fate made these battles the fiercest of all. Dude. So they're metal as shit? Anything? Does it say anything different on any of these? That's a solid no by the looks of it. Ah, okay. Fair enough. What about the spears? Let's upgrade. Let's see if we can go. The red matches the red in the armor. Oh, wait. 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 Oh, no. Ah, oh, damn it. Just... Damn it. Oh. The other bits of the cape were on the armor as well. I just don't get anything. I don't, I don't get anything. Just fuck me. Yeah, I just mm, screw the mm, right. Let's go upgrade some shit. Ooh, I wonder if I can talk to Iggy to upgrade some shit. Actually, oh, ah, well then. I already learned heal off you. Oh, flame. I'll take that surge. Oh, flame. Giant's flame is a frame of ruin, capable of burning the Urn Tree, and so, following the war against the giants, its ruinous blaze was sealed. The guardians were appointed to watch over it. Ooh. I never looked at that before now. May the golden order. Well, I guess we're burning the Urn Tree. Hello. Hello. Uh. About. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Lingrave's north, towering over the mist. Renala is queen of the Carian land. Her great rune dwells within the e The Academy of Rhea Renala is queen of the Carian royals, who govern the ah. So Renala is Carian. So she's from this area. And she's here. She's stuck in the Great Library in Rhea Lucaria, right? But she, Rhea Lucaria, the Academy, is actually at war with Carrion. So that's why she's well, trapped there, effectively. I heard Rodan and Godric. Okay. Let's see, you two are doing well. Oh, I shouldn't have bought fuck. I shouldn't have bought fuck. Always good to son. <laughs> Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. And uh, I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. So oh? I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand, since you're so scary and all. What? Wait, what? Do I need to... Does that mean I need to do his quest soon? Fuck. 
Ah, that screws up my plans a little. Um, let's see if this lady has anything to say as well. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me? Now? Yeah. Give it to Podge, lady. Give me that fucking... Think about... Think about... Look at this. Look at this. I, want you, I want you all to pay close attention. Two hands. That's all she has. Very warm. Two hands. Garbage. Dear Roger, likes to talk of it when abed. The ancient plot in which the first of the demigods was slain. The black knives wielded by the assassins who committed the act, along with the impressions they made, somehow hide the truth of the conspiracy. Dear Roger, the ancient, the black knife, along with the... This is a whole, there's a whole thing about the... The black knife of death? What? Wait, if Rani stole... Rani said she stole death, didn't she? <laughs> you got them deathbed smalls and they didn't... Oh, I remember, I remember memes going around about that. Is that actually a, a, like an item she specifically has? And no one else can have? Because that's... <laughs> classic. Somber smithing stole... You want, I really want to use this as a good as a, as a as a weapon. It, it looks so cool. Then again, I want to use the spear as well. Um, sell. Is there anything? Is there any other bits I can sell? We have use for shit. Plus four is good enough on this. We can get it to plus five later. We can worry about getting the clean rot spear up late. Oh wait, no, we can't. Wait. Right, now we can't get the clean rot spear up anymore. We need to use remind me to use the other ashes of war as well. <laughs> Because I'm going to forget. I'm going to forget at this rate. You... Oh. Oh. Huh. Maybe it's maybe it could maybe it's a thing that's um, bugged. It could be sixth. Maybe you can get them, but you need to do a certain quest that was maybe bugged before now. It's funny how it's funny how FromSoft have basically developed a formula for a video game where you actually can't tell what's intentional and what's just fucking random or a bug. And people will then <laughs> hypothesize about the lore behind it. It's kind of genius, really. That was. This does an overhead swing on the horse as well. Some bug DF. Ooh, okay. Like main story bosses as well. Is there? There was like a real ominous hum around here. just the middle of nowhere without any reason. I'm honestly, I like it. Um, I don't know why though. I can't articulate it. I think it makes them feel like they have their own shit they're at, really. No. 
they're generally they're generally where they are at least for the to to the npcs that talk they're generally where they are because their story a lot of the time Sit at a comfy place. Well, I think the idea is they're mid their adventure. They're they're in the middle of their adventure still. So like they're not resting wherever you find them. You just happen to you just happen to come across them when they were halfway through a dungeon or halfway to another place where they were, where they were going. I guess maybe not. Okay, but yeah, a night, another campfire. But I've said that before. I think they do have indicators for them of some kind. A little bit at least. Another. Tower, another one of these. Erudition, guide thee. Erudition is scholarliness. And yeah, they do have markers now, Cappy. But you still have to encounter the NPC first. I think what Cappy means is there's no marker... Or there's no... Um... There's nothing obvious that shows you to them a lot of the time. Which is, no, which is, I mean, I don't know. Because, like, let's say... Bok. Bok is all, seems to be at campfires. I don't know, I feel like a lot of the time they're... They are signposted in some way, or are they in, they are in a spot where... If you're looking at your surroundings, you'll see them. Like, there was an NPC that's literally just here, and she's not highlighted or really or anything, but she stands out, like, she does stand out. There's nothing super there. Then there's the dude like Edgar who was like sitting at the top of a beat off a beaten path here. But again, once you made it to that spot, you'd always find him because you can't walk. You couldn't walk past him because he's like sitting right in front of you. Um, I've never I've never encountered an NPC like that though, Cappy myself. Um, like I've I've never encountered an NPC that I just straight up couldn't find. Um. Uh, Except for, sorry, except for that one that was a bush. <laughs> that was literally, the one was literally a bush, but he was mimicked into a bush. Um. Do you have to help fighting four invaders? I haven't come across them yet. I don't think. Um, I actually want to double check. Yuna, Yura still here. I haven't chatted with him in a while, and I've learned a couple dragon spells, so I wonder if he has anything new to say to me. I keep getting distracted. Fucking... Fucking... God damn. Um, maybe let's do Roger's quest, but I don't know. Maybe I don't want to help Roger. You must not forget those who part their hunger until the flood Because... No surprise. Maybe Roger's against Lady Rani? I don't know. He doesn't use a weapon. How do you spell casts? Spell casts? I can me English do. We'll we'll see, but like so far, Cappy I've I can't think of one that was felt like they were hidden that I've encountered anyway. Every NPC I've encountered has felt like they were kind of like they weren't easy to find. It wasn't easy to find exact where they were, like the route in there, the like the path they were on. But seeing them when you got to that spot was easy. 
am. They're just dropped there? I don't think they're just dropped there. Uh, I think they're moving along their story. Um, like, I don't know. I think, I, I think I'm not understanding. I think I'm, I'm either I'm not understanding you or I just disagree. Um, and feel free to point out point out one when we do come across it. We can discuss it when we like actually have an example. Because I kind of know where everyone is now, so I'm just like, eh. Does that count as the kill on him? No. So this doesn't do... Oh, hello. Kinder Biscuit. This does holy damage, but it doesn't count for... Maybe, hang on, maybe... Want to see it? Not yet. I want to do this place solo for now. Shit. Oh, shit! Um, okay, these are the guys, these are the real pain in the ass dudes. Because you actually... <gasps> I don't actually have holy. Uh, shit, hang on. <laughs> Uh, quick intermission here. Is there holy grease? Lightning, poison, rock, cross room, shield, dragon, shield, soporific. Uh. Uh. I think I need to kill this dude first. Oh, that did it. Okay. Motherfucker. Rosus's axe. Hello. To me, if they're walking around, it can still run into the same problems of you just happening to not see them in the right place at the right time. Or, like, just missing them. What's the area I'm in? Black... I think it's Black Death? Black Knife Catacombs? Oh, shit. Hang on. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hello. I'm looking... For a man about a flame. Figured out how it works yet? What's it called? Huh? Black Knife Catacombs, yeah, okay. Didn't figure it out how it worked. Holy, holy damage for the skeletons is all you really need. Um, but, yeah, you just need to kill those fire-bearing dudes, or maybe you, the, the skeletons just need to be away from the fire. Did 
feel a little bad killing all these crabs. Something else. Okay. Spoilers, maybe? Or... I don't have the right. Still no lover. Oh, wait, what? Oh, as in you found... This area? Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. There's two of you. That's different. Oh, mother flipper. Was it to drop down? How did children taste? Fucking great. Children taste great, man. Every time. It's so good. Yeah, fuck it. Let's make it sacred. Just for just for the record, if I need to explain the joke, um, I'm eating a kin. I was eating a Kinder bar, and, and Kinder is German for children. There we go. Just just in case anyone needed the explanation on that one. Oh. Liver spell proof, excuse me. Gotcha. <laughs> Microdosing. You just gotta you gotta you gotta start with little spell, shoot little spells at it at first, and then work your way up to the big big spells. Okay. Here's the strat, here's the plan, here's the big plays. We kill this crab before we have to deal with the other one. Got it, big plays, let's go. He's done it. I hate the crab so much, they're a bit of a pain in the dick. Just a tad. Hmm. Oh. I don't have the right, apparently.
This is where you got stuck. Okay. I have a I have a plan. I don't know how good of a plan it is, but I have a plan. <laughs> you see, what you're all forgetting is that I am a god gamer and I'm amazed at everything. Practicality <laughs> <laughs> is new. Shame. You know, not enough sense fortress in your life. That's where you learn those tricks from. The oh right, the trap is actually an elevator. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, I got a mage's mace. I thought that would have figured out. I had once I once there was no way down. I was like, oh, it's it's the trap. It's it stand on the stand on those things. It was it was. But I, I've seen that trick before. I've seen that trick in Dark Souls a bunch of times. So, um, large stone embedded with gunstones. Wielded by Erd Tree burial watchdogs to protect catacombs. The watchdogs battered and broken over their lengthy tenure. The catacombs are even said to command the imps. Sorcery of the Crozier. Channel magic into gunstone to activate an ancient source. Using floating magic to chase enemies. Oh, it's that fucking spell. Oh, and a shimitar. Could this be a dog? Not wrong, actually. Oh, hello. <laughs> There's also like when we came back. Um, when we came back, there was that dude that was like chucking shit at us, and that felt very on the nose. Look up here, look up here. Hey, look at this uh, game design. I mean, it's not actually that on the nose, to be fair. It's more on the nose when you've played enough of these games. <laughs> Interesting. So we have two boss doors. Do we? DSR was the second one. DSR was first for me, and I put the by f by a good margin the most hours into uh no sorry not dsr dark souls one not not remastered just one very welcome yeah they really all needed cool twists this is this is an interesting catacomb this has a lot of neat, neat bits to it but they all needed this. They all needed to be this in order to justify all of their existences. <laughs> At the moment, it feels kind of just like, yeah, they're just they're just there to be, you know, open world extra shit to do. That's just how this works. Smile, Ornstein and Smile Man. I think that's where we stopped streaming Dark Souls Remastered. Was I got to Dark to Ornstein and Smao early, and I spent like an entire stream basically trying to fight them with really bad equipment and no way to get back to where I was uh, to improve my equipment. So we just kind of ran with it. Um, I think I've about I think I've like four hundred two two hundred to four hundred hidden path ahead. Therefore, attacking required ahead. Do I go back to the start here? B 
Bloodborne 2, if you Dragoon, have you ever played Bloodborne, by the way? This. Bloodborne's also very good at the hidden paths and stuff. The real intricate level design. You only have a PC? That's a shame. If you ever get the opportunity, uh, I hope I hope you do someday um, get the opportunity to play Bloodborne. It, if, take it if you do, because it is really good. Don't don't go out of, don't go out of your way. I don't know how well it's aged, and it's definitely got its whew, it's got its technical issues to be certain. But um, Bloodborne's pretty great. Should I do the hidden boss first or the main boss? I don't think I've ever finished DS1. I I adored DS1. We might play it at some point after Elden Ring. Maybe we'll we'll try and because I want to I want to I don't want to I wanted to play more of the Souls games on, on the channel for a long time. It's just I've never had the drive to do it. But maybe maybe I'll have it now or maybe not. Maybe I'm talking to my ass. You can still hope for port never happening. I I I refuse to believe it's ever going to happen. Not for like, not until, not until, like ten more years have passed. Not until it's so old. I, I think it will be emulated before it will be. I think it will be emulatable before it will be. Oh shit! Oh, I'm dead. Pressing all the buttons, I couldn't. One point you can do with DS3 Um K Witty, K Witty 23, he does he does like one he does like multiple runs of DS3 in one stream. Cause he's just able, he's just gotten that that used to casually just speedrunning it. Maybe we should go with the holy damage? I think we probably should. I'm kind of, I'm still not 100% sure about these dudes. How do I deal with their, that binding attack? Because it seems like it's super quick and like, maybe I just need to time it really well. <laughs> well... <laughs> That's how we deal with it. We just kill him. <laughs> he tried. He tried his best. Uh, we might just be just well and truly overpowered here. Visions of bug. Okay. Well, therefore, time for C. Soloing Demon Prince your first time? Which one was Demon Prince? Was that the duel the duel dudes? Did they nerf Arcade Shield? I actually didn't I didn't see the nerfs. I haven't seen any of the nerfs or patches because I haven't made it far enough, so I don't have the context for a lot of it. Um what was what 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 was Barricade Shield? Also, hey hey Forty, how you doing? First two demons, then demon prince. Yeah, okay, that's that's exactly what I was thinking about. Was then. Maybe. Maybe we even actually use some ashes in this next fight. They can kill you really fast and find how HP and that holy murders them and they can fall real fast. Yeah. I have I have learned that just now. <laughs> that they are fucking ridiculously weak to holy. <laughs> Bye. That's kind of wild. I love it. They're basically a glass cannon boss. Infinite. Ooh. It buffs guard boost by 35. Ooh, okay. So it's good enough. So here's the real boss, yeah? Oh, hello. You're the second Black Knife assassin we've ever fought. Hello. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, shit. This is a very tiny arena. Doable, though. Might take me more than one try. Definitely gonna take me more than one try. Ooh, okay. Important, sir. Oh, snaky. I need a different weapon, I think, for this guy. Or I need to hold him up against a wall and jackhammer him. Uh, also, entitle my sex tape. too greedy like i had him in the corner he, he just he iframed out of it i don't think i was too greedy there to be honest i think i think if he just hadn't gone for that grab attack i would have been fine um i think it was the right call to keep trying to attack him because there's only the, like the odds of him going being the odds of me getting the hit were higher than him getting it on me i think our new cool shiny weapon instead because I want to <laughs> so can I just uh I, I get it thematics you know it's a cool cool churchy looking spot We can stagger him now. That kind of get kind of be wait, kind of trivializes him a little. Cerulean Dagger. Black Knife Print. That has... That has wording on it. Hang on. Uh, let's get a closer look at that. Hello? Um, thank you, as well. This one. Critical... Ooh, that's pretty neat, actually. Critical hits restore FP. Um, okay. Meat of the Black Knives Ritual. The 
looks like it says on. No. It looks like it's trying to. It looks like it's got like a word on it, but. I don't know. Does anyone know what it, what it says? If it does say anything? Oh wait, maybe it says it in the description. One of the Knight of the Black Knives. Someone stole a fragment of death from Malaketh, the Black Blade, and imbued its power into the Assassin's Dagger. The mark is evidence of the ritual and hides the truth of the conspiracy. Ah. Okay. So like, I wanna I wanna go and bring that to Roger and be like, hey, here's that thing you're looking for, yeah, before you die. Um, but kind of also wanna bring it to Rena and see and see what she says if she has anything to say about it. Even she stole death, was it? So maybe she instigated the thing. Maybe she caused all of this. Uh, anyway, let's get her opinion real quick. Oh no, she's asleep. Motherfucker. I wonder if we... Ah, uh, motherfucker. Um... Well... I guess we're gonna go see a friend. I don't know. Maybe I should talk to Hug, hug Lady first. Mistress Hugs. The items. I do also. Just wanna take a quick screenshot. Maybe Blythe will have something to say about it. Let's let's talk to Blythe first. Let's see if we can find Blythe and we'll chat with Blythe. Then we'll go back and we'll see. He wanted to go for the well here, didn't he? Was Blythe... Did I... Did I miss... Was Blythe out around anywhere else? Maybe I missed another part of his quest? Because he said he was still in Limgrave when we met him just there. told you where he was. He told me he was in Limgrave and that he wanted to investigate this well? That's what I remember him saying. Have fun with your inside? I will. I freaking will. Thank you very much, Glon. I feel like I could probably just teleport down and it'd be quicker than this. Did it... <laughs> Is it coming? <laughs> it's, it's okay, it's ground. It'll be ground. A few nuggets. I 
Dancer NG Plus is just as scary as regular difficulty. Dancer is scary. And end of, pretty much. Out of skeletons because I have a weapon with two light. Kill, from kill, one heavy, so I try to get back up. Yeah, it does seem weird, doesn't it? It to me, it was only the like actually glowing holy attacks that have done it so far. That's a lot of boys. Hang on. Where you at? Dancer a cutie? You sure about that one, Sixth? Yeah, just, just think about it. Think about it for a little bit. Just hold on to it. Just trust me. Just have a, have another gander at her. Beat up the princess before I even kill a tree. Yep. I do love, I absolutely adore that. Um, skip that, that see, that intended sequence break. Like that, that, that. I love that. I think it's cool as heck. That by your statement, I'll, I admire your conviction. Um, I will pray for your safe return from it. Oh, crap. any of this. I also wonder if this is one of those things where I actually need to click to get Blythe to appear. sure where I'd find Blythe. Pineapple, I guess? Is he already down the well? Or is he still up in Limgrave and I need to see him before he'll actually appear down here? He is still up in Limgrave. Okay. Wait, what did I say? I can't remember what I fucking said. God damn it. He's here now. Okay, okay. Flipper. I'll just. I guess I'll just look for a big old pile of corpses somewhere. He's 
done now? He's done? He's done? You fucking... You fucking... Shite bags? Ah. Fuck those dudes. Oh my god. It's Silver Knights 2.0. It... I'm pretty sure... Like, that little... There's like a little bit there. See that? See those little, those little, like, downy, slanty bits there? Uh, it's 100%. It's a, it's a, what's the name of the place? It's not Lothric. An Orlando. It's an An Orlando Silver, Silver Arrow Knights reference. 100%. I refuse to believe it's anything else. Because you actually have to walk over that just to get something. activated I don't think this was always activated new no oh you're just the back oh okay oh hey yeah, okay um <laughs> back I go boys here. Oh, shit. Oh, there's boys. Ah. ah. What explain, if he's up here, what explain why this place felt kind of like it was missing something <laughs> when I was here before. If, if it's the mechanic before where he wolf howls and I just need to hear it and I miss it, feel free to chat. Feel free to tell me if I, if I miss the wolf howl. to like find just a big old pile of corpses and that'll be my signal to where he is right
to know. I would like to ooh. I'm good. I'm down for a good ooh. Give me, give me a hot or a cold. Let's go with that for now. Cold. Okay. Before he's like behind me over here. Ice cold. Shit. This is holy damage and it didn't permit kill the skeleton, so holy just gets weird because. Yes. Skeletons. Hmm. It does seem. I think it's. It's like. It's got to be. A certain kind of holy damage. Or it's got to be a certain application of holy damage. Also, enjoy your shower, dude. Tell us all about it once you're out. Mm -hmm. Give us the deets. Hello. Goodbye. Boulder. Ah, uh, okay. I was having a wee look because I knew. Remember, there was a little campsite up there. Oh, there he is. Uh. Okay, don't get, don't shoot me. <laughs> oh. Good to see you. A very big. Made, but I don't have much to report. I, I actually have loads. Right above me. But I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways. To no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celebus. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. was having a conversation and have a good have a good one clone I swear to god if they like aggroed glide there i would have been so mad Apologies, mate. I can see bloody I've tried all the gate. Perhaps it's time. I recall that spiteful little rat acting like he knew something. Let's give him a squeeze. Show him just how sharp my teeth are. I just. Hey? I wouldn't go that far. Besides, uh, I should check on some things here. Leave this place to me. You just do what you feel is right. If either of us learns anything, we tell the other. Right. Cool. Leave this place to me. If either of us and if we reach a dead end, I suppose we go back to the source. Celebus rarely gives a straight answer. The first time. Leave this place to me. If either of us learns anything, and if we reach a dead end, I've been. There are hidden floors too. Wait, as in break floor like. Illusory floors? Is that what you mean? I have not. I've come across 
floors that break beneath me. Um, but not specifically illusory. They're usually used as traps. At least in as far so far as I've encountered them. Um, I did want to go and talk to Saluvis. Maybe I should talk. Let's talk to EG first, actually. Hang on. War counselor EG. Illusory motherfucker. Well, my fellow, how may I serve you? As war counselor? Or as blacksmith? Um, but Blythe is Lady Rani's stepbrother. Rani's mother, Queen Renala, approved of him, and they played like siblings from childhood. Oh, they that's were cute. Always happy to have me tag along as well. Aww. When Lady Rani renounced her flesh and chose the dark path of the Empyrean, Blythe and I swore allegiance as vassals. The Empyrean but will never forget our earliest days together. Promise to look oh. after Blythe for me, will you? The man is honest to a fault. But fortunately, now he has you. I'm looking up the meaning of Empyrean. The highest heaven or heavenly sphere in ancient medieval cosmology, usually consisting of fire or light. Ah, oh, okay. Our sub badges. I noticed that sub badges seem to be gone for everyone, except not for clone. Actually, clone still got his, but the other ones are gone for some reason. This is new. This is like the one stone we need. This is stone three. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this a fair bit, so let, let's upgrade it a little more. I think stone three is what we need for the, the clean rot spear. Yep. I take it you've heard of the eternal city of Noxtella. Well, it has a twin known as Nokron. The other eternal <laughs> city. After years you gotta of punch you just gotta hit that part of the screen. The location of Nokron. By going underground, through the well in the mistwood of Limbrave, you can see Nokron up above. Only we failed to find a path leading to the city. Lines made a good go of it, but I'm afraid this has him quite stumped, to be honest. I'm not sure where to go from here. I take it you've heard well. After you by going only blind, oh. to be honest. I want to kill that Crucible Knight. I wonder if he's part of the trick to getting... Um, part of the trick to getting... To knock... Knock... Knock run. Ooh, excuse me. Jesus. Oh, I'm a bit tired. I got time still, though. Nope. Here's the trick. We don't kill the dragon because the dragon's protecting Rani. That's the secret. That's how we make sure she stays safe when she's asleep. And that's how we ensure we keep the best wife. Though, if uh, Turtle Boy, honestly, if Turtle Boy has like another pa another path he can offer, I'd be down to listen to Turtle Turtle Pope. He seems like he's got his own. He, he's got an idea. I have no time for the only thing I will. Are we? And I have enough. Not wrong. Well, well, you're asking me about that, are you? The task was left to you and the Mongol, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. Would she have said anything if I hadn't talked? What the shit? The only thing I will hear are we and I have enough. 
Ah. Alrighty then. Let's see this letter of introduction to... Old coat of arms, receptor cellulis, addressed to a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen. The contents of the scroll cannot be discerned. We're getting Selen in on this too? I liked Selen from the get-go, so... Beautiful. I'm, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down for this. I'm down. We, we, we just get all all the cool people together, except preceptor Celibus. There you are. Shall we commence the? Well, well. Celibus is not a name I ever wanted to hear again, but fine. If it will help you, my apprentice, I offer my knowledge. The stars alter the fate of the Carian royal family, and the fate of your mistress Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations and in a crushing victory arrested their cycles. Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement, and so too would Rani's destiny. You wish to continue very well. Okay. So you wish to continue very well. We're killing Radan at some point then. <laughs> Fair. I mean, I think we were going to do that anyway. Let's see if, um... Let's see if Blight has anything to say about that. Probably the closest we get to being railroaded. No, the, the, the bit where you... Rani forces, like, a, a, an invisible wall comes up around Rani's tower to force you to talk to all three of the NPCs. That's railroading. <laughs> that's... That was heavy railroading. The heaviest I've ever seen in these games. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder if there was a way to find that out. I mean, totally, technically you could have just killed Radan, right? You, you could have just killed Radan and went on your merry way. Ah, well met. What news? Right, leave this place to me. If either of us learn... Ah, what news? Hmm. So Rani's fate is kept in stasis by Star's Curse for Dawn. That reminds me of something I heard. There's a festival being held at the castle on the southern edge of the Caled Wilds, east of Limgrave. It's a festival of combat. And I heard that you can fight Radan himself. He was once called the strongest of all the demigods. Maybe it's just a coincidence. I have to do the festival. Ah. On the way to this festival of Radan. Blight's coming with us? You're coming too, right? To Radan's festivities. I'll meet you at Dreadmain Castle in Caled. Will that, uh, will that start this? Oh, God. We fight. Sword. I haven't fought. No, I haven't done the. I haven't done the academy at all yet. Too, right? I still haven't gone the inside. I'm still. I'm still considering giving the the key to Thops. <laughs> this is how far off the track we are. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> we're just, we're just doing, we're just, we're just advancing quests now. That's it. Oh, Blight's here. And Alexander's here too. Yo. Are we, are we actually like gathering people up now for the festival? Ah, there you are. I was literally. Took your sweet time. <laughs> Players are all made up. I'm waiting for the curtain. Let's give them a show to remember, eh? Just don't you go dying on me. For Ronnie's sake, too. That halo? Once more into the fray together, eh? <laughs> this might even be fun. Once more into the fray together. Oh. Hello. Are you? 
You have lady? Hello? Champions! Welcome! The stars have aligned! The festival is nigh! What, what are the ghosts? Radon, mightiest demigod of the shattering awaits you! Champions! Prepare for battle! Defeat the general! Claim glory! And grab that great rune! A celebration of war! The Radon Festival! Okay! What are these dudes? Ah, you came. How oh, Jesus Christ. Indeed, I thought I might find you here. By the by, do you know for whom this festival is being held? Well, it is none other than General Radan himself. To think, I could face a great champion of the Shattering. A demigod in the flesh. Oh, God. In truth, I could oh, like whoever. Such Whoa. is his frightful repute. But Whoa. the fear uh. simply assures me the ordeal is worth undertaking. Be sure to get a good vantage, my friend. I, Iron Fist Alexander, do hereby vow to unflinchingly brave this. I came old... and he's quivering. Be sure to get a good vantage. I. What is? Once more into the path. <laughs> what is your deal, lady? So what is this barrel? Okay, normal barrel. Nothing too spooky about it. Wait. Else? I feel like there should be someone else here. And I'm like... Festival begins. I yeah. see. When you are ready. <laughs> okay, if it. Shit. Mm. <laughs> I. I don't want to let Roger die. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Ah, well then. Ah. Nope. If you die. Hey. Fucker. Uh, shit. <laughs> I swear to God, if ah, uh, he's napping. Uh, I feel like I'm really coming to grips with spirit tuning of late. I can see how and why immortal essence exists, a spirit under the golden order. I can understand their yearnings, what they become drawn to. Master Hugh said it himself, actually, that I'm no mere apprentice any longer. Once again, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Moderica, the certified spirit tuner. That's cute. I hope she's doing all right. Oh, curtsy, let's fucking go. Greeting, are you here for... I'm glad she's not dead. <laughs> well, I took you for no matter. Lay out your arm. The girl has come a long way. As ever, time and technique have made her stronger. Tis good to see. An imprisoned monster does not deserve an apprentice or a daughter. But at times, that's precisely what she feels like to me. I've gone soft. And it isn't easy. 
Look at the look at the little monstrosity. Yeah. I am pleased. To Would you like the blessing is still aflame? Would you like now? Can you, can you give me chat to me about a uh, uh, Roger if you got anything? You are so dear Roger. The ancient, the black knives, along with thee. Ask a favor? My dear, might I ask something of you? Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back. I know, I know she debuffs your health. I'd like the dagger? to find the owner of the dagger. It's a very... Hey. Deity. But what about Roger? Doesn't she say it? She does. She very explicitly states it. She's like, she. I will take a bit of your vitality for the Baldekin's blessing. And... The eagle-eyed folk will notice that most people don't, and I didn't either, but that little red square in the top left with the down arrow, that's the debuff. You get that after talking to her. I am, would you like me to? The blessing is still aflame. In but like, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, it's kind of hidden, but at the same time, it's pretty explicitly stated. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like really explicitly like, I'm going to take some of your vitality. <laughs> and it's like, oh, yeah, okay. Well, shit, I guess we're too late for Roger. Um, or maybe not. Wait, what if... See, via Deathbed Companion. She wishes for it to be returned to its rightful owner. It was once a special weapon of gold and silver intertwined but is now worn down and marred by a black gash. The fuck? She takes the vitality to revive someone? Um, she takes the vitality to like, her, her idea was to bring someone else back to life. Oh. You can bring Roger back. I am. Would you like now? The dead to revive them is what she said. Yeah. So she might be able to save Roger. You ask. Sing, yeah. Dear Roger, the ancient, the Black Knight, along with you, I'd like you to find it's a very precious. Then good day. To you. How many hugs does she need? We gotta find out, man. Just gotta keep fucking. Blasting through them. I would you like Go. Now. Fucking. Uh, I don't actually know. I don't actually know if this does anything. <laughs> Maybe it does. But. Uh, you may. I don't know. Then good day to you. <laughs> I don't feel like it does. To unlock the you are stupid achievement. Excellent. Just gotta just gotta give in, man. Go for maximum hug. Hugs per second. Don't know that. Let's go see if the two fingers have anything new to, new to say. Uh, or face McGuy over here. We've also not found this dude's adopted daughter yet since. 
We've not met her in a long time. I can't remember where she said. I think she said she was going somewhere. But I don't remember where it was. We've also got another NPC we haven't met. Great runes, receive power from remembrance. No. You ain't got nothing for me? Okay. The new metastat hugs per second. Maximum hug velocity. Inverted tower. What am I doing? This is where... Okay. I want to do this third tree. I want to do the third tree. Got a boy to fight on the third tree, right? Then... We've got... A... Is this, the, is this literally the intended way to get up here? I think it is. <laughs> okay, I dig it. I'm down for a bit of platform, you know? Stone, there we go. You know what else we're gonna do? I'm gonna give the Glinstone key to Thops. I'm gonna try to. Maybe he will, maybe he'll be like, nah, bitch. I'm too fucking stupid for that. Which is fair, man, you know, that's his, that's his shtick. Then, that's actually a good point, Oxy. I do need to. I do. Need, I not only need to hydrate. I actually need to go refill my water. I haven't drank. I haven't drank since the last hydrate two hours ago, which is not a good way to live. Shit. Right. Third tree. Right, here's the order. Okay, wait, no shit. God damn it. I wanna to talk to Turtle Pope too. See if he has anything new to say. But we'll we'll do this Erd tree real quick. I say real quick, he's uh, it will turn out this is like the hardest Erd tree in the whole game. I've done, I've done, I have done one of the harder ones. Uh, of course, if I get greedy and forget to dodge, bit of an issue. But I also did kind of cheese that one. A little, did I cheat that one? I think I did cheese him a little. attack. Oh, it takes my stamina. That's what was my problem. Okay, I understand now. Yeah, okay. Uh... By the way, it's the way to dodge that and most projectile attacks is to go in a circular direction to your opponent. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Doesn't help if you get caught in a pot, though. Which I think was also the problem with the Earth Tree, the other, the Caleb one as well.
go. Quiet there. You weren't even listening to me. How dare you? The hardest thing I think about these Erd Tree fights is the pots you get stuck in. He's done it. Not even, not even another attack. What do we get? Cerulean Crystal Tear? Ruptured. So I'm guessing... Um... Those are four. If I had to guess, Cerulean for, Im improves the other kind of source. Oh! Oh, never mind, we're getting... we're being a hunter. Wait, connection? Connection error? Returning to your own world? Oh no, we're actually... Let's fucking go! There we go. <laughs> ignore, ignore the green hands. We're still Saint Podge. Also, I love the idea that people are getting a. Maybe, actually, hang on, I have a great idea. Oh, are we in time? Do we get the help? No, I think I think we, we get to run up and be like, hi, I am also here. So I was here. <laughs> Rune arcs, baby. Saint Podge of the Moon. A good lad indeed. Okay. As I was as I was about to look, uh where are these physics mix mixing bits? Here they are. So that was Cerulean Crystal Deer. Restore half? Oh half total half total FP. Okay. Wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting like boost sorceries. I guess that's what this one does. I'm guessing this one causes concoction to explode. A defective crystal tear, which possesses absolutely no medicinal qualities. Lesson said to be learned the hard way for some. Faith can be a volatile matter after all. Oh, oh okay. Sorceries. Come on, give it a lash lad. Boost me good. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, etc., etc. That's this Erd tree. Right, he's about to kill me. These guys got a lot skabook here. Uh, I thought they were pushovers. Okay. Nothing, nothing else to find here. Okay. Thing. Done most of this. So. Let's go talk to the Pope, see what he's got to say to us. Um... Who the fuck owns the dagger? Like, I don't even know who would own the dagger. I don't even know where to begin with the dagger. 
Hello. Greetings. Oh, you okay? No, you don't have anything for me. That's fair. Take your sorcery, though. You know, a famed skull when he glimpsed under sun. Radagon. Radagon is not Radan. Don't need absolution. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um. Right. Now. We can explore down here. <laughs> I've been looking at this area for the longest time. No, wait. Sorcerer Thops. Sorcerer Thops first. Turtle is the best. You can give him the books. Oh, I never knew you could give him the books. Oh, I would have loved to give him the books. That would have been amazing. I gave all the books to the fucking shite bag in the, the central area. Because I was like, oh, well, no one else seems to do fate stuff. So I'll just give it to this shite bag. God damn it. Rats. Everywhere. Of course. So you found yourself a glintstone key. But I certainly can't take it from you. That key belongs to you. By right, you should use it for yourself. Ah. It's true. I wish to return okay. to my place of he will. He won't but accept that's it. that's excuse to impose upon others? Oh. Is this why bluntstones always finish last? I Head insist. Head to the academy carry on with your journey. Don't bother holding yourself up for Okay. 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 Fair. Um. At least I know. Let's see if Patches has anything to say. As well. Hello again. Oh yeah. There's a surviving Iron Virgin. Big water wheel. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Gotcha. Um. Right. I think that gives us... I think that's everything I wanted to check. Is there anything I'm forgetting? There's something I'm forgetting. <laughs> God damn it. Do we want to... Do we want to... Um, I think I... I, um, I feel like I need to talk to the NPCs now. Sooner rather than later. I feel like... Uh, oh. I feel like Radan thing. I feel like that's moved ahead a little. That's moved ahead a little quicker than I expected. <laughs> and no talking to Rani and all that would would set the festival in motion. Although, God, I hope I I hope this festival won't start without me, as well. That's a whole other kettle of fish. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Bye. First, you must find the unalloy. It's hidden somewhere in the den. I will tell a secret. The unalloyed gold needle. Hidden in the swamp. That's what he was looking for. And that's the way to cure... You started the festival without needing Rani or anything? I have a feeling maybe the festival is, is just a... Maybe it's just a bin certain areas and certain level time condition. Um, was was Blythe at the festival for you, I wonder? Wait, where am I going? Oh, that's right. I am going the right way here. He was interesting. Um, okay, all right. Watch this. Pro maneuver. Professional shit, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> figured it out. You figured out the trigger for festival? Doesn't kill them. Shifra is a trigger. I done. I done Shifra. I done Shifra. I'm. F I, I'm think. I'm fairly certain I did Shifra before I did. Uh, 
Redmain Castle, and when I went to Redmain Castle, they said, oh, festival's not on yet. Holy Zod, it is weird. It's, yeah. I'm not a fan. I'm not a, I'm not a, I wish it was a little more consistent. Um. Like, because all of these are holy weapons. And, like, I'm doing holy damage here. Maybe I need to do something particular? What about... No, uh, okay. You need pure holy? But this should be mixed holy, shouldn't it? Like from this from this weapon, it should be mixed holy damage. There we go. The the arc is is pure holy, but the actual attacks, the actual strikes from it should do mixed holy, right? It, it is dumb. No, it's 100% dumb. It, it doesn't make sense. Um. don't want to run into those two head on. <laughs> I really don't want to do that. Okay. So with like two weapons so far. This, this ability here is the only one that's worked for me so far, but this, like, I'm enchant... It's, it's, it's actually both. It's... The the bolt of holy this fires and the holy enchantment it leaves on my blade afterward seem to be what counts. So it's like applied holy has to be or something. I don't know. Not just innately holy weapons. It seems it seems silly either way. Your holy spells. Yeah. Uh, okay. That makes even less sen sense then. You'd think the weapon art would be kind of like a holy spell. But anyway, whatever. Game's bad. We all know it. 0 out of 10, IGN. Game reviewers are all hacks. You're all thinking it. Applied <laughs> holy instead of theoretical holy. Ah, you see, that, that was our problem. Yeah. Poor thing. I have a feeling. Yeah, these fuckers are protecting her. I, I feel like they're gonna they're trying to use her for something. Because we've seen that these these do enslave people. Well, you don't need the so there's no logic it's just it's just let's it's most likely a flag that is set on the weapon or the skill or whatever uh and if it's on it works if it's off it doesn't work and it was set on it, you know applying it to the weapon specifically turns it on and uh certain weapons specifically have it turned on but other than that Are you fucking kidding me? I rolled through multiples of attacks, but I couldn't actually swing my spear quick enough to actually hit him in that instance. It's 
doing it again. These guys suck as well. These are up there with some of my least favorite enemies in the game. Because they're kind of cheap. Already, be, I have encountered, but I haven't killed uh, Commander O'Neill yet. Chloe? Hello? Who's there? Well, it matters not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. It is a curse. Not to be meddled with by man. If you are wise, you will... My flesh writhes. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My okay. flesh writhes with... Oh, hey, I just got a welcome to chat. So Twitch is out doing great. Uh, if chat's broken for anyone, or if anyone's messages haven't been sent, Twitch is having a day. Um, if I'm not seeing any messages in the next while, if that's the thing that happens, because that's happened sometimes, uh, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, there's been a few times I remember where chat literally just broke. Um, literally, you just, nothing was sent. Glad I could make it, I'm, I'm glad I could be here too. I hope, I hope you've been enjoying, enjoying the stream, uh, you know, before I arrived. Is he dead? Only on the inside. Only on the inside. Hello. That game was returning. Was returning to the roots. Okay. I think. I feel like the, the needle is going to be in the middle. Right? I think it's going to be Commander O'Neill has it. That or spam this dumpy to end the grumpy. Wait, <laughs> what? Am I grumpy now? I wasn't. I, I wasn't intending to be grumpy. I apologize if I if I grumped if I grumped too hard and too fast. Okay, I've met her. Shit. Maybe I shouldn't have met her already. <laughs> let's let's look around these caves, okay? Let's look around these caves. This is what I said I'd do. This this is I've seen I've like run around here a little bit, but I haven't actually been in proper. But this is like Look at this. You have this big crystals up top, or big cave up top. You got a crab just fucking plowing shit down, and you got a poison swamp, baby. Poison. Beautiful. That's the Miyazaki special. He handcrafted this swamp for every player to enjoy. You gotta appreciate it. You gotta really Dig deep and suck it up, man. Beautiful, beautiful shit. Hand picked, hand chosen, the finest crabs. Look, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, let's have a quick run around before we go up. This looks very towny.
Alright, if you need any Trina's lilies, there you go. Oh? Oh, are you having a... You doing okay? Sir, are you okay? Oh, poor thing. Probably... Oh, oh. So this place isn't doing great. I can tell. Got an inclination. Maybe a little bit blight rotted and the like. Okay, item up there. Uh, I'll leave you alone. Uh, that looks like... No, that's just sunshine. Okay, never mind. Okay, no, I guess I gotta go up now. You're surprisingly chill crab. <laughs> You're just kind of staring at me the whole time. Hey, hey, cool. You have a good day, sir. Hello. Let's head, up, head on up. I had a feeling there was gonna be something in here. It wasn't just gonna be a waste of space. Village of the Alaban Alaban Alabanorix. Alabanorix. Oh, oh, hello! Holy shit! Uh, been a while. Oh, it's you. Well, what do you make of it? What's happened to this village? I witnessed a sight much the same in my infancy. The oppression of the weak. Murder and pillage unchecked. A waking nightmare made by men. But this time, I'm a woman grown. And though the suffering cannot be undone, I can still mete out justice. Justice Sir? to the oppressors. Let the scars I carve remind them. Feli, that's her name. Warrior. Put this time and though the justice to the oppressed at the scars. Okay. Put this time and though the suffer justice to the let the scars I uh -huh. What was the name of the person Saluvus wanted me to give that thing to? Nef oh! He wants me to give this to Nefeli? But... Oh, shit. Um... Um... <laughs> no! But this time, and though the justice to let the scars... I I do that. I like Nefeli, she's cool. So far. Cool, yeah, and Saluvius is like... <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Sir! Stop! Saluvius raging incel. Yeah, that's a good way to... That's a good way. That's a good way to describe him without offending any any groups that I don't want to offend. The village is done for. This town's finished! Please. Even it's just you, old Albus. Hide well and still your breath. Choice has already been made, yeah. But I also want to help Rani, and Saluvius is helping Rani. <laughs> we have a waifu off, I think. The game's gonna make us choose.
Let's quickly run across the bridge. Let there be precious item, sure. Ah, motherfucker. There we go. Over here, wasn't it? There we go. Crystal? So, Jesus, we are just pil piling on the wild weapons today, aren't we? Crystal sword. Sword fashion from your crystal, indeed impossible for a human, and read with powerful magic and attack scale with intelligence. The inscrutable crystallians have but one clear purpose to safeguard their crystals unto the end. One theory posits that they yearn for the return of their creator, who will carve for them new brethren. Slash foes as your body spins. Additional input allows for follow up attacks. I think I know what this attack is. Ah, okay. No, that was not what I was hoping for. I was hoping it was going to be the the spin the crystalline warriors actually did also as cool as this weapon is this halo scythe is the moveset's actually really bad <laughs> i have to say it's not the moveset but the reach on it is like really bad like look look how far i reach with any of these attacks like it's only like it's like dagger distance and it's actually really a pain in the dick uh I might swap to the Rot Spear. Um, though we'll probably swap back to something else. What were the other weapons we had that we wanted to test out? We we testing out the Vike Spear. We wanted to test out some other... Ooh, you know what? We should give a lash. Zweihander. Zweihander and the Rot... The Rot Stomp. Or the Frost Stomp. Hello. Great. Not a not a great start to that fight. Not a great start to that fight. I'll I'll get him next time. We'll get him next time. Don't worry. No, I have the utmost confidence. Hey, where are my souls? For an hour for the set? Oh, Jesus. I die. Bye. Now, brown cow. Allowed heal? That's my thing. Gotcha. In. Get out of here. For this healing thing? 
the one I'm using, the, this glowy bubble around me, it's really good. I've yet to find anything else that's quite, uh, quite been as useful. Try attacking, rolling. Please, no. Deal me. <laughs> I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Wait then, you're not one of them. Well, what a relief. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I am Albus and Alvinoric, as you can see. We're finished. The whole village is finished. The town's finished. The mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them. I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the Kursmonger's hands. And if you should meet the young Albinoric Latena, then please give it to her. Ooh. A chosen land awaits us, Albinorix. The medallion is the key that leads to the city. It's only a quaint treasure for we who cannot make the journey. But for dear Latena, it is needed to fulfill her purpose. My legs will soon fade, and with them my life. Alas, this is the immovable fate of all Albinorix. <laughs> Oh! No, he's actually dying. Oh! Uh... Oh. Well... Cool weapon, thank you. Ivory Sickle, what the fuck is that even? It looked like a casting thing. No, no, okay. Dagger. Oh, look at that! Single flash from ivory. Weapon carried by aged Albanorix. These weapons are evidence of their dedication to the Halleck Tree, despite never having entered its presence. Oh, okay. Well, I I know where... I do know where... I think I know where... the lady he's talking about is. Also, but now we have two halves of a medallion. Right half of Split Medallion depicting, depicting the Halleck Tree. Brandishing the medallion with both hands conjoined will activate the Grand Lift of Rold, granting access to a hidden path. In other words, this secret medallion will guide the bearer to the land of Michaela's Halleck Tree. Wait, is this not the same as branching the medallion with both hands conjoined will activate the Grand Lift of Deck, disconnecting them from both? Right in Fourth Farath in the Dragon. Wait, Fort Farath? Wait, no, no, this is... I don't remember ever coming across a fourth Har Fort Harath. Another waifu? Another waifu. Fort Harath. Blumming. Yeah, Latena. There we go. Latena the Alban Albanaric. Okay. Wonder is Nefeli gonna want this though? Is that what she's here for? Are we gonna are we having yet more waifu wars? I believe it's actually Fort Knighteth. Happening on over there. Hidden path ahead, liar ahead. Just to be safe. I can summon Nefeli. 
Oh. Be wary of dog. Why is it always blood loss? Let's go. Hang on. I want to go and have a chat with Nefeli. So we can summon her to fight with. Yeah, that's a sign. Yeah, that's Nefeli's sign. Justice to let the scars up. But this time, and though the justice. Okay. Do I summon her for this? I feel like she wants a bit of bit of bit of the old vengeance. I feel like I should. Feels like the right thing to do. Hello. Try target lock. Oh, upper. Hello. Actually, give me, let me get that in appraisal. That's a... That message deserves it. And a dog. Omen killer. Hello. Oh, you're actually a boss. Okay. Doesn't look like you're much of a boss. We should be. Uh, we should have them. No bother. Oh, 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 go, Nefeli, go! It's easy. No, no, up, up, up. I mean, it's especially easy because of Nefeli, but it's. I'm fairly confident I'd be, I'd be able to take this. Oh. Don't let your little justice. There you go. Good Nefali. Thank you very much. Crucible not. Reduces damage and impact of headshots. Health and fashion body not and body's aspect of various creatures said to have grown on the human body long ago. Reduce damage and impact of headshots taken. A vestige of the Crucible. Born partially of devolution, it was considered a signifier of the divine in ancient times, but is now increasingly disdained as an impurity as civilization has advanced. From a bit of a shite bag, then. Slow bosses generally seem... I mean... Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty... I think that's a pretty cut and dry... Yeah. Let's have a chat with Nefeli, see what she has to say about this. Jesus. Fuck me. What did they... What do they need to do to this village? The cheese strat for the boss? Because it's looking pretty good, -a. I hate myself already for saying it, but it had to be said. Didn't have to be said. I could have. I could have. I could have not. I could have just. I could have just kept my mouth shut. We would have all been happier. We all gone on to lead more successful lives. You know what the Albanarics are? Uh, do you know what? Oh, as in like in general? Is it actually? Is it an actual word? I don't. I don't know what it is. If if it's if it's a word with a translation, hit me. Oh, fuck me. Jesus. You went a little hot. You know what? You went a little overboard, I think. You gotta probably... Are you... Excuse me. Are you leading me somewhere? There we go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 
weird just weird dog man at least still over there let's see if she has anything different to say now might need to reload the area Never mind. He's headed out then. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna take a pot shot and say she's back at the round table. Make sure she hasn't moved. Moving out around here. Oh shit. We're good. Is this gonna say ah dog? I can't take this? Ah, okay. Never mind. No. It's B. Hello, boss. No bother. Save the world. No bother. Slight ledge. No. Too much. Too much. Okay, let's find that again. Sorry, excuse me. Can actually, can you look up uh, Albernorix 6, see if it's a real word or not? Oh, got it. Okay, never mind. It is not a real word, it seems. Okay, so it's just where they're from. Also, apparently they can't walk. Uh, that's like a thing about them. Uh, which explains why she can't move either. I the all here brute already that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? Oh, the oh. secret medallion. Do you there we go. True? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. Then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena, an Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst. Seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute, I hope that you will forgive me. Is the all-hearing brute? The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do. Even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig Tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallion's other half. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the Forbidden Lands, north of the Earth Tree, in Castle Sol, on the mountain tops of the Giants, accessible by the Grand Lift of Rold. Oh, so this is a different. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf. My better half. I will go with the Tarnished, so that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. Latena. Call upon me when needed, and I will fight at your side. We have an NPC's Ash summon? 
We have a a summonable waifu. I'm sorry, puppy. I wish I could. I wish I had a pet emote, but I don't. Uh, okay. Hearing brutes. What the? What the? F what the fuck? Why is this dude attacking me? That's, that's, it's Edgelord. It's Edgelord man. Clinging bone? Enemy, eh? Boy, Ains, Helm, Armor, Gaunt, oh, hello. What the fuck? That arm. Here it is. Horrific weapon made of a hardened skeletal arm wielded by Ensha of the Royal Remains. Fitted by placing one's hand into the fist grip until they dig in. Oh, clinging creature. The king relinquishes not the hand. Lifesteal fist, skill that demonstrates mastery of the art of controlling vital energies. A slow control punch with an energy infused fist that renders foes unconscious and steals their HP. Only effective against foes of human build. It's um, it's a motherfucking um, a soul sucking thing from Dark Souls One. Uh, sir, would you mind explaining why your bodyguard? Uh, you, what is it? You know, tried to kill me in a place where I, I literally can't, we, we can't slowly redor replenish his HP when HP is reduced. Hello. War Helm graced with gold human bones, worn by the unspeaking adherent of Sir Gideon the All-Knowing. It's said that the bones belong to an ancient lord, the soulless king, the lord of lost and desperate, who is known as Ensha. Hearing. Gideon the All Knowing. Excuse me, eh? Gideon the All Knowing? What the fuck? Wasn't desperate. Ensha. Well, what? Well, uh, yeah, yeah. My apologies for that nasty business. Ensha got rather ahead of himself, it seems, as his master. I'd like to express my regret, but now, Ensha is slain and gone, finished, forevermore. Uh... Ah, yes. Allow me to tender some advice in regard to the half of the secret medallion you possess. How do you know I had? Find the Albinoric woman. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart. I am sure. Find the Albin or it. She hides in a cache. Oh, I'm well, miles place. ahead of you on that one. Well, what? It? Find the Albin or it, woman. She hides in a cave. Bit of a shit bag, isn't he? Perhaps, perhaps a shit bag. The. Isn't this like supposed to be a safe place too? Give the, oh, it belongs to him. Oh shit, okay. Uh, fuck. 
<laughs> why are all these why are all these quests fucking flying all over the gaff? Jesus. Um Did you need something? Well, what have we here? How did you get your hands on that dagger? Well, that hardly matters. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. The description? Wait, what? which description? Which description did I read? Oh, it basically tells me it's his? It does. I actually, I didn't... What did it say? I don't remember. Oh, twinned silver and gold. Ah. Right, I should have, I should have caught that then. Oh? didn't I actually didn't cap I only ca I only caught I caught that it was gold and that it had the the black stuff running through it which to me makes it seem like himself was the one who killed the first demigod you again. Would you like? No. and Fia knows all about it Say more to say about it, eh? To you. What her her crack is, and by crack I mean story. I'm not talking about anything else. Greeting. Are you here for spit? Well, I took you for no man to lay out your arm. Are there any weapons I want to improve? Can maybe the twin blade? No, the clean rot spear. But I can't. Dragon halberd, maybe. He's muttering something. I remember. Oh, I actually I don't think if I did this on stream, but there. Nefeli. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I. I need to think. Ah, you. Please, it's pathetic, I know, but I. I need to think. Ah, you. Please. It's pathetic, I know. We got... We got a bow here. We got a bow down here, right? This one. Serpus's Black Key Crossbow. Black crossbow featuring a long stock used for sniping. It is a very long stock. Strange. Weapon of Serpus, who served the two fingers from the shadow of the round table as the head confessor what's a confessor but long range crossbow black really sounds like assassinating weapon doesn't it so you know in, a, in what i'm sure is the classic from softy style it turns out the people in the bright place with the nice stuff are maybe probably the bad guys um, and all bad and bad people. Is that maybe Brother Corhin? I think he's just he, he's just boring, I think. 
I don't think he's got anything cool going on for himself. Black flame, sure lads, give us give us the lot. So save yourself, bingies. Oh, I thought it was Michaela. Wait. Melina? Wait. Fuck. <laughs> Marek is the one in all the statues. Or is that Michaela? Fuck. <laughs> I don't know. Hang on, let's um, rest here for a second. Yep, there it is. Gone. I had a feeling. I had a feeling that happened. Visions of corpse, eh? Ah, well then. May the go Okay. Ellie's uh. despair. Ah, you've already heard. Indeed. It seemed the whelp harbored suspicions. So I had no further use for her. Honestly, what's a man to do? A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn, quite frankly. I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. He's a shitbag. Sir Gideon's a shitbag. But Saluvus is also kind of a shitbag. <laughs> she harbored suspicions. Gideon knows too much. Gideon's being a bit of a shite bag, isn't he? Ah, you, please. It's pathetic, I know. Heard from Gideon. Y'all knowing, by the way, yeah. Also, why is this? Oh. Oh. What the? Why? I'm glad I bought his shit. By the way, <laughs> she's not in here anymore. Have we unlocked bed two? The further bedding. Jesus. Okay, so we've gotten to that stage of the story where everyone fucking dies. <laughs> Death ruined himself to boot? What? These bell bearing. Twinned helm, twinned. Oh, we got his armor. Mm, beautiful. Twin gauntlets, twin greaves. Bell. Off to twin mate notes when you have friends. Found upon his perished. Flesh. Why did we kill him though? Entwined twins of gold and silver. The two known as D are inseparable twin. They are of two bodies and two minds, but one single soul. Not once do they stand together, not one word they speak to one another. Perhaps the armor longs to find its way to the other D. Not once do they stand together, not one word do they speak to one another. Fuck.
Look at it. Look at look at the the hair and the eyes covered, right? Eyes gouged. Uh, maybe it's the only other thing in the game I found so far that looks kind of like like it actually does look similar to this helmet, doesn't it? Vaguely. other bits yeah finally it is returned to its rightful place the uh. stolen hallow brand of the exalted noble and now I must bid you goodbye as well, though I ask you deliver this message to the round table hold. I am Via, deathbed companion, hark round table. Disturb not the death of Godwin, the exalted. We who humbly live in death, live in waiting to one day welcome our Lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our Lord will rise. The Lord of the many and the meek. <laughs> Tipos away. <laughs> what the fuck? What? <laughs> Roger spell bearing. Spell blades pointed. <laughs> spell blades traveling attire. Gloves and trousers. Oh, another? Roger's letter. Motherfucker. What does it say? Letter written in a trembling hand. I forgot to tell you. But it seems D has a younger brother. I heard he lies in a deep sleep, the aqueduct beside the eternal city of Nokron. And it's said he stood before the Prince of Death, not far beyond that point. all coming together it's all it's all something found upon his perished flesh oh wait what is is there any significance to the look of these i wonder For the actual detail in the items themselves Okay. hunted people who who courted death or something like that right it turns out fia was one of them did fia kill d or did d kill himself i'm confused why did we get roger's 
He hunted those who lived death. Yeah. And Roger died for straying too close. And D died because of fear. Either she killed him or he killed himself because of what she knew. She just wants her lord, who is death, or the prince of... Wait. D's got a younger brother. D's nuts. She lays with the dead. Oh, this place is a lot fucking quieter now. <laughs> That's like four people. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, all right, shite bag. Devilus, Renala, secret medallions. Nothing to say about Fia and the rest. No, not a not a not a comment on that, do you? Bearing D's, bells. Okay, bought everything that. You see, I've got like a cooler round table, so I'm not like too fussed. But I'm like, I don't know, I, found, I thought D and Roger were one of the good ones. Fia, I was always suspicious of, but I wasn't quite expecting that. Uh, you got anything to say about this? Study of I can happily spare the time and applaud your enthusiasm. Oh, is he happy because I keep studying shit? Is he happy with me? The golden order. Oh, you're not going to be happy when I Further side with Granny. Is it? I can happily spare. May the... God, I wish I'd not given him anything. You want to talk to me about how people keep getting killed? Uh, oh, no, you don't care. Uh, I swear, you better stay safe. Greetings, are you here for? Only Sims. Hey, think about what those arms can do. Think about all those back robes. Ah, oh, you, please. It's pathetic, I know. So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions, forgetting the mission, punishment for offing his pawns. Father, mother, Lord Gideon has offered me guidance all my life. I would have done anything for him to place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I, though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. And I can no longer trust him, Father. To think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now... I've lost it. No. No. How could I say that? Father has a now. What? Uh, I'm not giving her the potion, so I'm curious to see what he says about it. Is that potion what I think it is? Bloody Salavis. I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. You go ahead and do oh, what you oh. must. The round table has no code to speak of, but I ask you this. Are you really going to do the bidding of that twisted dolly botherer? 
Or would you rather hand that potion to me and see if we can't get one over on the bastard? Well, I won't force you, but I think your plan would be a dreadful waste. She's not herself right now, and though I have no need of her, she still has potential. Certainly more value than she'd have as a bloody puppet. Alexandjar? Jar is pretty great. Jar, Jar is just the... The Jar is the Onion Knight of this game, I feel like. Because he keeps getting stuck in places. And he's very bravadish. But ultimately, he's not very good at stuff. Blythe, Blythe, Blythe is, well, is like, I'll do, I'll do what I need to for Blythe and, Blythe and EG seem to be the, and Blythe and EG, who are then sworn to Rani. If it wasn't for Blythe and EG also being sworn to Rani, I'd be a little less, uh, a little less sold in Rani. I'd be like, oh, maybe she's up to some sh shifty shit as well. But with Blythe and EG on her side, I'm like, I, 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 I. <laughs> Millicent? Who? Which one's Millicent? Is Millicent this lady here? I think. That's my, my think. Yeah, hang on. No, she's Roderica. Who's Millicent then? Is Millicent the one in the church? And Selen. Celine. Right. I don't understand Fia's actions. Gold Needle Mark Scarlet Rodley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Fia, Fia just wanted to stop D from disturbing her death slumber boys. What about... I have accidentally gone with Fia, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know who I can and cannot choose sides of, to be frank. Um, I thought there was like two endings. Hmm. Are many endings? Jesus Christ. I've currently like. Well, oh. Couldn't let this one live. I I've killed one NPC because. I thought they were basically done. So I was like, eh, whatever. Side chamber. Let's include sound. Lift side chamber is actually where I want to go. Having a quick look at a thing. Let's see if Malzino's on sale yet. Sorry. Uh, 
accessories. They sell me amiibos on this store. Found them. Okay, never mind. Okay, not on sale yet. Okay, I'm good. Six or seven in total. Don't think people have found out how to do the seven yet. If some of the endings were bugged, then oof, uh, then that's probably part of it. Although, yeah, I don't necessarily want to know more more details than that. <laughs> um. Like, okay, right now, Rani seems Rani seems something. <laughs> Fia also seems something. <laughs> Not. I wonder if Nefeli has a thing. She has a path ahead of her. Me lads. Oh, no worries. It is. Good to see his. Can't quite stick around though. Still do nothing. Kenneth? What does I wonder if Kenneth have anything new to say, actually? Oh, what even? Needle? Oh, fuck me. Let me actually take a quick moment here. Sorry, I have a billion... I need to build a Jarberg, actually. So I've done Roger's map. I've not done the Volcano Invitation. There's the Maiden and the Flame Frenzy and all that as well. I haven't done the other underground. Um, I've gotten Wolf Lady, so I know what Wolf Lady is all about. Carrier Manor. I've done Carrier Manor, right? I've done the... Wait, have I done the... No, I haven't done the left side dungeon. Black Knife Catacombs, I have done. Um, Inverted French Hour, I don't know how to do. Pencil River Well. Raya Lucaria, Roads and Catacombs, we just did that. Um, big Jar Fight, <laughs> haven't done that yet. Govery's Request, haven't done that. O'Neill, haven't done that. Rot Dragon, haven't done that. Kenneth Height, haven't done anything with him. Pope Turtle, let's go back to Pope Turtle and see if he has anything. If he, if he has anything to tell us. Um, big Caves, Mausoleum, Sorcerer Thops. Sorcerer Thops is done. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like fighting an Excel sheet, an Excel spreadsheet. These guys got angrier since I was last here. The inverted. I haven't. I haven't seen. Let's. Let's not talk. Let's not talk about anything. Let's not talk about more more than that. Ah, fuck! Right, Kenny, you still got nothing to say. Hope. Hope turtle. Turtle. 
Poke turtle? No! What are you? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Herb turtle might be fine. I've met one of these dudes before. I've met one of these dudes before, and they just despawn the nearby NPCs. I think. God, I hope Pope Turtle's fine. I swear, if Pope Turtle's dead, Pope Turtle's fine. Pope Turtle? There we go. Okay, Pope Turtle's good. Greetings. when he glimpsed this and as such you're good let's let's actually fight that dude um what do i need what do i need to fight him wait past past time till nightfall it seems like it's always nightfall for these optional fights by the by um, I think the bell bearing, the bell bearing dudes seem to be, the two bell bearing dudes I've encountered so far have been near NPCs, and if they don't spawn when you go to nightfall, just sit back down and get back up, it usually works. Yeah, P Poke Turtle's gone, right, okay. And the other ones, the death birds that spawn, they always seem to be in or around... A. Fuck yeah. It's not quite doing the damage I was hoping it would. souls there? I might have lost some souls there. Big boy. It looks like he's got a mask stapled to the inside of his... Not to the inside, to the outside, just wrapped on to the outside of his helmet. It is only plus two? Yeah, yeah. Good rest stream. Have a wonderful night, Echo. Cheers for hanging, man. Sleep well and shit. And shit, especially do that. Do that before you sleep. Probably for the best. Bloodhound's Fang. I'm gonna go back to the Bloodhound's Fang at some point. I just know I am. I'm 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 a absolute sucker for that weapon. Ooh, echo indeed. Oh, we got this. Usher of Death, Rosas, who shows the path to the catacombs. Throughout the lands between is depicted in this ritual axe. Oh, the the statue dude. Rosas is the name. The death dead easily lose their way, and have always been in sore need of a guiding hand. Rosas' summons. Raise the axe aloft to summon those lost in death. Three skeletons will appear at a distance and attack in tandem before vanishing. Hello. Oh, that's has raised actual skeletons out of the ground. Well, that was not my intention. <laughs> it actually raised three. Wait, was that intent? Wait, 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 what? It's 10 o'clock. Okay. I had not realized we were at that time already. What's the one beside this? This one? Sacrificial Axe? Um... Yeah, oh yeah, the Deathbird one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um... What was the other Deathbird weapon I got?
Or was it a weapon I got, or was it a spell? It might have been a spell I got from the other death bird. Um, sorry, I meant to say the death birds, the ones that I've encountered at nighttime, they always seem to be beside ruin fragments, big piles of ruin fragments. So where there's, uh, where there's like a chunk of fallen debris and shining ruin stones, for instance, right here was where I encountered my first death bird and the, on this big ruin fragment, or maybe it was here on this big ruin fragment. Either way, it was in and around there. And the second one I encountered was right up by patches on this ruin fragment, which is again covered in shining ruin stones. So that that seems to be their thing. Then the Nightfall Caval, the Knights Cavaliers. I haven't really, I think bridges are their thing. Near bridges is where they spawn. At night, obviously. Um, let's actually go into Rhea Lucaria, shall we? <laughs> No! We have a fucking Crucible Knight to fight as well. Shit. Let's give the Crucible Knight a shot. He will probably ruin me. But... I don't have anything else. Let's, let's give myself the best odds I can, though. Uh, where's my good... There we go. Um... Four hundred and fifty appraisals, not too shabby. I have, I think my best is like twenty. Um, the one message I had, I had another message that was getting up there, but I deleted it by accident. I'm still, I'm still salty about that. I'm not gonna stop being salty about that anytime soon, really. Um, maybe, I guess, not this. Okay. Wonder, do we have to summon? Oh, let's, we have to try and summon the lady in some places. Um, Spirit of Latena, the Albanoric. Al Al yeah, we have to try and summon her around the gaff. It was when you were wearing the dog imp mask. Oh, you think the fashion is part of, part of what did it so well? Did you... Did you say, could that be dog, while wearing the dog imp mask? I'm like wondering... Well, that wasn't very fucking effective. But that was good damage. No, no, I can't take the put. Anyway. Uh, try that one more time, shall we? <laughs> You've not been praising any. Have you been appraising them? Have you been remembering to at least uh, be a bro and uh, toss out some free health to some folks? Let's remake those as well. Pass out from the booster. Good and get good toast. I'll do my finest. Sleep well, plague. Don't don't plague the plague, plague. Be the anti-plague. And have a good night. Fetch 
limited parts, wasn't it? Yeah. Five, five should be enough to do the trick. Let's also... Put some healing... Oh, shit, how do I... Blood loss... Immunity... Rune acquisition... Shit. Um, how do I cure... Alleviates poison, cures buildup. Okay, gotcha. Right, here's how we're gonna take him. We poison him, wildly enough. Then we heal ourselves, then we unpoison ourselves. Do we have any... no, okay. Plan. The execution. The execution needs some work. But we got this. Let's also, actually, while we're at it, may as well, physical damage negation. You fucking kidding me. I'm like, I feel like I'm so, I'm far enough away every time, and then it's just like, no, I got range on you. you know, I can I can reach that. Uh, fuck you, dick bag. Come on, let me have it. I'm okay, I'm a fraction. Pot. 
Even before he dodges one of the pots now, and then I can't actually kill him, get get the poison on him. I'm, I'm actually preparing for that outcome. I don't put it past the game to fucking do me like that. That I seen coming. I had loads of health. That shouldn't have one shot me. I mean, I I take umbrage at these accusations. Uh, I've been falsely accused and made a mockery of in front of my peers, and I seek emotional restitution. Definitely fallen further than that and lived. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hang the fuck on a second. I, in fact, I'm almost certain this is a bigger drop than that. And it doesn't kill me. I'm not. Okay. I'm not angry. It's disappointed. But also, I'm pretty sure this drop is bigger. But like both of those drops are the same size as that drop. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm oh, I'm tilted. No, I'm I'm angry. I'm angry and I'm tilted. Uh, <laughs> I'm happily angry and tilted. Because that was some bullshit. But. 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 Uh. What the fuck was I saying? Does anyone else feel like the drop damage, the fall damage is inconsistent? Because I really do feel like sometimes you... A very reasonable drop kills you when you think it shouldn't. Oh, this t this poison's a lot worse than I was expecting. Wait, he's not poisoned? Game of Flaws 10 out of 10. IGN would recommend. <laughs> what was that? And can I have that spell? He's not poisoned anymore. I thought the poison would finish him. Drop anything. He didn't. He didn't even drop. What was the point? But, but he was gonna drop a cool spell or something. 
What was the point in this? No, no, wait, did I get anything from down here? Like, actually. Oh, right, I think I picked up, like, one thing from that corpse over there. I, I guess I got the kill. I, I, was, I was expecting something, man. I was expecting a bigger reward than that. I feel like... This feels like a very useless imbued sword key. <laughs> it just really doesn't feel like it was that worth it, to be honest. Uh, maybe it affects something later. But, yeah... Right now, it doesn't feel particularly worth it. Um. Hey. Uh, thanks, I guess. Let's do... Let's go to Railicar. Let's finally fucking enter Railicar. This was, like, the first thing I was supposed to do today. This was, like, my original starting out thing. Was... Was Railicar. Like... Six hours later, and I'm doing it finally. Oh, jeez. Ooh, look at that. It's bigger on the inside. I spoke to Thops. I did speak to Thops. It's bigger on the inside. Wait. Did you spit me out the other side? Wait, what? What did you write? Yeah, no, pretty, very nice of him. Honestly, that was lovely. Uh. I. Where did it? What a... Oh, I'm okay. I've seen a customer. How can I help here at the end of the earth? Bitches. Bits. Blue color, fabric, and brisk waters. Blue and white wood. Just the room. It's okay. Uh. <laughs> no, we're good. <laughs> Ever's cookbook, lost ashes of war, and more stone sword keys. Okay. Attic warrior bits. Drawstring. Okay, cool. Have a safe. Excuse me. I'm fine. What did I just pick up off him? I can't. It, it bothers me that I can't tell what the ones I just picked up off him are. Left deck to slice the frenzied flame village and have it by the stick. Stay sick. Stay well away. Why? The crawling royal revenants and their followers are all cursed. Healing powers will harm rather than mend. Oh, that's a good one. Receptor Celovis is hiding a dirty secret in a cellar among the ruins not far from the Sister Three. The vile, graven witch seems to be a frequent visitor to that place. Hey, 
anything else. Revenant's Frenzy Flame, the Preceptor's Secret. A safe journey. Interesting. Very fucking interesting. <laughs> You're mad how late you found this dude? Celestial do? Ow! Shit! I want to see what. Oh fuck! I want to drop everything and go see what's. <laughs> God damn! I can't even. Let's let's. Did we at least rest at the side of grace? We didn't even rest at the side of grace. Okay, let's go rest at the side of grace. Then we can go and see what Salus's dirty secret is. Interesting, Selen. Raven Witch. Beaten by his own skill, it's a really good skill. Said, I do want to bit, use a bit more of the War Spear. Inflicting Madness seems like good crack. Huh. I wonder if we get to the top of this tower, won't we see Rani's mommy? Wait, did I? No, okay, right. What did... What's that about? Golden Sheet? Hello. And a invader? Hello. He summoned to assist Yura. I nearly freaking missed that. Now that's a missable fucking thing. <laughs> Dude, exploring shit. Apparently, there's infinite things to fucking explore. <laughs> Raven Mount Assassin. Gotcha, babes. Wait, this looks almost like um, Eileen. <laughs> The crow outfit. Hello. Doing good? Watch cool. of war. Raptor's nest. Oh, hello. You okay? Uh, oh, it's you. Thanks for your help there. That bloody finger was a thorn in my side. And now I'm finally rid of him. Here's a token of thanks. Please, take it. I'm in <laughs> time. I'm dying to see you. Eleonora. Violet bloody finger. Yes. I've been tracking Eleonora for quite some time. It's Eleonora. She's the deadliest of all bloody fingers. She's felled many an old hand already, but in spite of her cess blood salutary, Eleonora is a proud knight. If she comes for you, do not think twice. You must flee. There is no shame in self preservation. It before it turns out I've killed her already. Be on your way. Perhaps we will meet again. If fate permits. Be on your way. Perhaps. All right. Jeez. How much shit is in this game? <laughs> and how much of it is just fucking lying around? <laughs> Need. 
Is this a uh, no jumping ahead? I took some cotton balls. Okay, hang on. I need to read that note about Seluvis again. Receptor Seluvis hiding a dirty secret in a cellar among the ruins, not far from the Sisters Three. Let's see if Selen has anything to say about that, actually. Not far from the Sisters Three. So it's got to be near those towers, right? There you are. Shall we commence the... Okay. There's nothing to say about it. Ruins... Near the Sisters Three. Up here, perhaps? Or... Maybe down there? That wouldn't really make... Oh, or... King's Run. Could be that. I wonder. Decided you hate great spears. What's wrong with great spears? Everyone's getting flame frenzied here, right? There's no two ways around this. You feel back? You feel back. It, uh, they are actually, I do agree with that. They are, they do feel a little too short. Look at that. Yep. That's a downstairs by. Right, horseback battle, guard counter, healing item acquired ahead. Okay. Well, we might have Saluvis's dirty secret here. Well, that's not that much of a dirty secret, to be honest. As things go. Also, this sucks ass. I, I fought these dudes before and I absolutely hate them. <laughs> Fucking hate these dudes. They're a pain in the face hole. But 
maybe if I toss a shield in the mix, that might actually be a good idea. I need to check that yourself? No. Well, I'll, I'll do my best to remind you. <laughs> no guarantees I'll know when you're home on Sunday. <laughs> those kind of attacks. Ah, hate these guys. They're just really frustrating to deal with. Not as bad as the other ones I hate, like the birds and I can't remember what the other ones I hated was. The 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 prawn the the scarlet rock prawns. But they're not as numerous. They're not nowhere near as numerous as those are, which makes them not as bad. That's cracking. We're discovering awful secrets. Terrible hidden secrets. Okay. I just, I, I don't know, I got stun locked by something there, or maybe that was just the, maybe it was, that was the delay on the skill. That could have been that, what that was, which in that case, that's on me. Um, I am more than okay to summon a dude for this. And by a dude, I mean, I mean, uh, Lutena? Lucena? The poison spit staggered me. You know what actually tipped me off as well? You know what put the, the dots together for this being where where the secret is? The traps. Because the only other place I've seen those those magic traps is in the Macaria Manor. That's, this one's on me. Except, I accept my, my... And also the fact that these ruins always have a stairs, and I just didn't find one for this one. It's weird. well for some of these attacks. It actually works really well for some of these attacks. Like that! 
Right. Shields are the way to deal with these guys. There's very much, there seems to be very much a... This game seems more than, more than other Souls games, seems to really want to push you to use different strategies in different places. Frozen Needle. Well, that's not what I was expecting. Frozen Thin Piercing Blade, device forged by E.G. Carrion Royal's Bladesmith. Can inflict frost upon enemies and launch its blade with a strong attack. The blade immediately regenerates. Oh. Builds power and limbs forward. That sounds neat. That's actually really good. <laughs> that's the strong attack. That's not the. That's not the Ash of War. That's the. That's just strong. Didn't feel like it was a. Hmm. I don't know. I was expecting a bit more. Juicy secrets there. Other than just a. Uh, just a weapon. Maybe I missed something? Should I go back? I should go back. Okay. Here's what I should do. I should end the stream. It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> it is late as shit. Um... I, I might... Honestly, I might keep playing and just not stream. <laughs> and try and find this, the ruins, because it's just going to be a bunch of running around. Also, I don't know if other folks have noticed, but there's a good few places. I don't know what's up with the map in this game. There's a good few places where it's literally just wrong. Like all of this, this is all wrong. And uh, here for Jarburg, this, this road that leads to Jarburg here is not there. There's nothing there. Uh, it's actually, uh, it's, it's, it's weird, and it's like, it's like, did you guys draw the map and then, like, design, then, the, then design the actual levels? Is this intentional? This doesn't feel intentional, does it? Uh, I wanted to quickly stop by Jarburg just to, just to do this. Hello, Cos. What are you doing here? I didn't think anyone knew about this place. Except us jars. Ah. Are you going to be the new potentate? Oh. Well. Tate, what's a potentate? I'm sorry. Uh. Cuz. Gosh. I'll be your po Truly. potentate. That's what's a, wonderful what's a, what's a, what's a, news. What's a, what's a potentate? It's not easy being potentate, though. I know. Show me your hands. It's uh, just a little test, cuz. To see if you've got the right stuff. Hmm. Your skin isn't so smooth, is it? You need slick, slidey hands to be potentate, you know? I'm sorry, cuz. But I don't think you've got what it takes. Slick, What's slidey hands. Don't look so glum, cuz we can still chat. Come back and visit me. Don't look so we can still come back and visit me. Shit. <laughs> Was there like something I could do? Shit. Did I accidentally just lock myself out of a quest line? When he says slick slidey hands, that to me says Um Dexterity? It could be the monarch, the monarch of jars. The you haven't done the prerequisite yet. Yeah, that was the other thing I was gonna say is that there's either that or something. You know, there's something else I need to do. Don't look so. We can still come back and visit. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Now I'm ending the stream. <laughs> Let's call it there for the evening. Oof. Um. Yeah. Good gods, there's so much shit in this game. <laughs> I keep going and I'm like, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll get to, you know, I'll get to some place in that. I'll get, I'll get to some stuff. Don't, don't worry about that. That'd be easy. Ground, no worries. Um. But yeah, cheers for hanging, folks. I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed hanging out a bit. Um, I will not guarantee a stream tomorrow because I'm tired of shit because I've just done two seven-hour streams in a row. So we'll see how we do. Um, and we got to review some memes. Ooh. Bleed, but not a bleed weapon. We'll look at it next time, hopefully. Dolly botherer dude. I'll remember to bother a dolly. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, folks, thank you all for hanging out. Uh, you know the jazz, follow and yada yada and all that jazz. Uh, Discord and other jazzes. Um, am I? I look a little low frame rate. Huh, weird. Anyway. Thank you all very much for hanging, folks. I hope you have a wonderful evening. I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'll have a look at some online. I'm like, ah, not that frustrating. <laughs> but also, who's online anyway? We'll have a look. Ooh, freaking Miss Cupcakes. <sighs> Miss Cupcakes is online, but Miss Cupcakes is also ahead of me. <laughs> But she's a new um, jar emote. She's a new jar 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 boy emote, which is pretty great. But fuck it, yeah. Let's go. Let's go see the new jar emote. How about that? I think that's. I think that's a fair, a fair way to do. There we go. And other than that, folks, thank you all for trying it out. I hope you have a good evening. I hope you have a good night and a good weekend ahead of you. Uh, I'll see is hopefully maybe Sunday, but no guarantees. Um, I'm probably gonna put like an official announcement thingy that I'm, I'm not gonna like stick to the schedule anymore because I just uh, trying to do a set schedule of work is just it's too tiring. Um, I don't want to put any I don't want to put pressure on myself for it. You know what I mean? Because um, that pressure then makes me more nervous about doing it, which makes me worse when I am doing it, and makes me feel worse when it doesn't go well. Anyway, thank you all very much for hanging out, folks. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Let's go say hello to Miss Cupcakes and see her new jar about. And other than that, have a wonderful rest of your evening. Take good care of yourselves, and have a good one. I think I said that like five times. Whatever, have a good one.